It's the Hub International On Deck Show. Leading you up to first pitch of LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball, Hub International, Louisiana's premier employee benefits and commercial insurance brokerage. Visit HubInternational.com. Now, from inside the broadcast booth, this is LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball on the LSU Sports Radio Network. One of the most exciting times of the year, the start of Southeastern Conference head-to-head -head baseball. And tonight it's game one between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and your second-ranked Fighting Tigers of LSU. Hello, everybody. This is Chris Blair along with Mr. LSU Baseball, Bill Franquez, our producer, Brian Haldane, back in the Capital One studio, welcoming you to Duty Noble Field inside Polk Dement Stadium here on the campus of Mississippi State University in Starkville for tonight's play-by-play -play story. As Jay Johnson has said on many occasions, there is college baseball and then there is SEC baseball. And it starts tonight as the first of 10 tough weekends. The Bulldogs and Coach Chris Limonis looking to make major steps forward from last year where the 2021 national champions went just 27 and 26 overall, nine and 21 in league play. Here of late, the Dogs are playing extremely well, winning 10 of their last 11 games. Your second-ranked Tigers come in with just two losses on the year and try to build on their success on the road in the SEC last season, going 9-5 and five away from home. Tigers have had a solid run against Mississippi State, winning 13 of the past 16 meetings and winning four of the past six series, although the Bulldogs didn't take two of three in Baton Rouge, surprisingly, last year in early May. So find your favorite chair, grab your favorite beverage. The road to an SEC championship begins tonight here in Stark Vegas. It's Mississippi State, it's LSU, and it's coming up next on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Hey, Tiger fans, 12 and younger, don't miss your chance to be a part of Mike's Kids Club. Presented by Shell, the exclusive kids club of LSU Athletics. Join Mike's Kids Club for only $25. Get the official Mike's Kids Club t-shirt, free admission to select LSU athletic events, and much, much more. To learn about upcoming events and to join, please visit LSUMKC.com. The Mike's Kids Club, presented by Shell. As a full-service industrial contractor, Bartlett Group specializes in maintenance, turnarounds, and capital mechanical projects, refractory, soft crafts, fabrication, and more. Just a few of the companies that Bartlett represents include Excel Scaffold, DECS, Deltec Manufacturing, GMTS, and Precision Refractory. Bartlett boasts the best talent retention record with highly trained and seasoned professionals. Our mission? To deliver first-class service with the best scaffold system and experts. At Bartlett, our strength is our people, driving our growth and success. Choose Bartlett Group, where exceptional is standard. Support your LSU Tigers with Hancock Whitney, the official bank of LSU athletics. From game day to the offseason, Hancock Whitney LSU credit and debit cards are a big win for any Tiger fan. Want to get your paws on these cards? Well, apply online or visit HancockWhitney.com slash LSU. Hancock Whitney Bank, member FDIC. All accounts subject to credit approval. Terms and conditions may apply. Back on the Hub International On Deck Show, getting you ready for LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball. Deep shot to left center field. Brown going back at the wall. It's gone. Time now to talk with Tigers. Presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers on the LSU Sports Radio Network. We're back here in Starkville, Mississippi at Duty Noble Field. Game one of the SEC series between LSU and Mississippi State. Time for Talking with Tigers. We're joined now by LSU senior pitcher Will Helmers. And Will, uh, you, of course, a four-year veteran of this program. It's always exciting when you guys start SEC play. Just talk about the mindset of the team heading into game one of, of the conference season. Yeah, absolutely. It's always exciting to open up, you know, in an, an away series at a great place like in Starkville with a good team, with a good record so far. And, you know, we're excited, but it's just the same game we've always been playing conference or non-conference it's it's you know it's just about the play not not about the uh, the opponent absolutely and of course uh, so far this season pitching has been really a big storyline of the team great success throughout the staff uh including yourself uh, you've been awesome in your appearances just talk about your development and what so far has made you so successful i think a big uh, component of it is most definitely Kochieski. he's brought a new kind of fire to this program and 
to this staff, and we've been pitching really well as a as a whole staff, pitching together, playing well as a team. With great, you know, great defense, and you know the offense will come. Um, so I think it's a huge component to be able to start o- open up SEC and, and just pound the zone and pitch like we've been pitching. So tonight, starting pitcher Luke Holman on the mound. Uh, Luke, of course, has made a big impact in his first year here at LSU. Good news is he's pitched in the SEC before for Alabama, so he's familiar with this Mississippi State team. Just your thoughts on Luke and the way he's emerged here for your staff. You know, Luke's a, a you know a great pitcher and an even better person. You know, he prepares, you know, better than anybody I've ever seen, and he's going to be ready to run through these SEC lineups. He's done it before, and he's going to be primed to do it again. All right, well, finally, as I said, you're a veteran of this program. You've seen a lot of great moments for LSU, including last year's national championship. Uh, you've kind of taken on the role as the, the emotional leader of the team, getting the team fired up in the dugout. How, how seriously do you take that role? What does it mean to you to have that, that opportunity? No doubt about it. And I, I think that's one of the most important ways to lead. You know, energy is a huge thing on a baseball field. Being able to get the guys going before a game, during a game, you know, after a game, whatever it is, I think is a huge component, to, especially to this team with some younger players. Being able to bring the juice every day is a, is a big component to this team, most definitely. All right, Will. We appreciate it. Good luck tonight, and we'll look forward to talking to you during the year. All right. Thanks. Y'all have a good one. Go Tigers. Will Homer's with us as we're talking with Tigers prior to today's game with Mississippi State. A lot more to come after this on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Unrivaled content, unprecedented access. LSU Gold, powered by Bayou Traditions, is the only place for exclusive behind-the-scenes content featuring your favorite LSU teams. It's all access to the Tigers all year long, from pregame warm-ups to post-game celebrations and every moment in between. You can watch LSU Gold anywhere, anytime, and on your favorite device. Go to lsu.gold today to sign up for your free seven-day trial so you can be there for each step of LSU's championship journeys. That's lsu.gold. When are three letters more than three letters? When they represent 14 storied universities, generations of tradition and unbridled One, two. passion. Stadium you hear anything? You know. With diehard fans, more than 260 national oh. titles, thousands of All-Americans, and hundreds of Olympians. And the one conference where every catch, shot, swing, and stride just means more. Tiger fans are gearing up with real Tigers right, apparel right. and merchandise from the official online store at lsushop.net. Get jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, official team merchandise from Nike, accessories. Mm-hmm. Not too loud, is it? Over 3,600 products all yeah. ship yeah. right to your door. Head to the place How about now? Real Tiger fans one, two, one, two. Yeah, yeah that's good. Thank you. Right. Perfect. At lsushop.net. All right, this is SEC. Okay. Leading you up to LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball. It's the one two pitch. Runner goes, swing and a miss. The throw down the second in time. How about strike him out, throw him out? This is the Hub International On Deck Show. Time now for a trip around the SEC. Presented by Visit Baton Rouge. Plan your next trip at visitbatonrouge.com. Off and on rain so far today here in Starkville, but it looks like most of the wet stuff is moving out of here. Both teams getting ready, and we are set for a first pitch here in game one between Mississippi State and LSU to come your way beginning just after 6 o'clock. Fans have the right equipment to take on any job linked to the land. Visit Sunshine, your hometown John Deere dealer in Louisiana, at sunequip.com. Com. Well, it is the opening weekend of Southeastern Conference head-to-head baseball. And to take a look and set the weekend for us, once again, to my right, happy to be joined by Mr. LSU Baseball, Bill Frankes. Bill? Thank you so much, Chris. It's great to be back here in Starkville. Another Looking forward to another great weekend, this long rivalry between the Bulldogs and the Tigers. And SEC play is already underway. A few games have begun around the league. So let's get you up to date on what's going on. Uh, Georgia is playing at Kentucky uh, this weekend. Georgia has been off to a great start this season under new first year head coach Wes Johnson. Of course, Wes was the Tigers pitching coach last season, helping LSU to a national title. Georgia off to a good start again today. Uh, they're in the first inning in Lexington. Georgia already out to a 2 0 lead over Kentucky. Also, just underway in Gainesville, Texas AM is playing at Florida this weekend. Texas A&M is undefeated so far this season, while Florida's been off to a bit of a slow start. Uh, Gators already with six losses on the year, but we know how talented they are. 
Texas A&M, Florida, that game is just underway. No score as they have just started in Gainesville. In Tuscaloosa this weekend, a big series between Tennessee and Alabama. Both of those clubs are playing at an extremely high level. Uh, they'll be starting in just a few moments. Also starting in a little bit will be Auburn and Vanderbilt. Auburn playing at Vanderbilt this weekend. And in Oxford, Ole Miss will be playing host to South Carolina later this evening. And in Fayetteville, Arkansas will be playing host to Missouri. So that's the way the schedule looks for week or game one of week one of SEC play. And a quick look at the team's records going into SEC play. Georgia, as I said, off to a great start at 17-1 overall. Tennessee also 17-1. Vanderbilt is 15-3. Kentucky is 14-3. South Carolina also 14-3. Florida, as we said, has six losses already. The Gators are 10 and 6 on the year. Missouri is 9 and 8. In the SEC West, Texas A&M undefeated, 17 and 0, entering play tonight against Florida. LSU is 16 and 2. Alabama is 15 and 2. Arkansas is 14 and 2. Auburn at 13 and 3. Mississippi State, our opponent tonight, 13 and 5. And Ole Miss also at 13 and 5, heading into conference play this evening, Chris. So. Looking forward to uh, what should be a great uh, 10 weeks of baseball in our league. No question. Tiger fans, remember all LSU Sports Radio Network broadcasts stream for free on the LSU Sports mobile app, including this one tonight, presented by BASF. You can listen live on your phone. You can even sync the radio up with the television broadcast. Just download the LSU Sports mobile app for free in the iTunes Store or Google Play. The LSU Sports mobile app presented by BASF. We create chemistry. We'll continue leading you up to first pitch. Again, a late arriving crowd, but it looks like the weather is going to subside, and it's LSU and Mississippi State, one of the most storied rivalries in all of college baseball. The Bulldog fans will be coming in just before first pitch. It'll be raucous here at Duty Noble. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll take a look at the starting pitchers for tonight's game one between the Dogs and Tigers. Stay with us here on the LSU Sports Radio Network. When it comes to investing in your home's comfort, it's never just one thing. You want to make sure you get an air-conditioned system that's reliable, affordable, energy efficient, backed by a strong warranty, and is installed by a dealer you can trust. That's why people who insist on the best choose Train. Plus, right now, Train is offering special financing. So what's not to love? Visit TrainSouth.com to find a local Train dealer today. It's hard to stop a train. Subject to credit approval. Ask for details. Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. Hi, Jan. My kids are really excited about spring break, so I'm looking for a new Toyota to help make it amazing. Now until April 1st is a great time for a new Toyota. Imagine you and the kids in a Tundra on your way to, to the lake to go speed boating. Or even taking a RAV4. To an animal sanctuary to pet goats. <gasps> Sounds like your kids aren't the only ones excited about spring break. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Dealer inventory may vary. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. We have some breaking news that you, Tiger baseball fans, are going to want to hear. It's official. SeatGeek is now the official ticket marketplace of LSU athletics. That's right, the deal is finalized, and SeatGeek is the newest member of the LSU family. If you haven't heard the name yet, get used to it, because you'll be hearing a lot more this baseball season. Whether you're buying or selling tickets to baseball games, or to any other live event in Baton Rouge. SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek, the new official ticket marketplace of LSU Athletics. So Tiger fans can fan. The Hub International On Deck Show continues. Here's the one, two. Come on, Blue. Oh, strike three. Let's throw him out. LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball is coming up. But first, here's a look at the game's pitching matchups on the LSU Sports Radio Network. LSU Athletics would like to thank its team, LSU Corporate Partners, Cox, McDonald's, Our Lady of the Lake, Albertsons, Coca-Cola, People's Health, and Hancock Whitney. Let's take a look at tonight's starting pitchers for Mississippi State, Bill. A little bit of an audible called here in the opening game of conference play while LSU goes well with their mainstay at yeah. least the last couple of weeks in game one. Yeah, a little bit of a, an unfortunate uh, situation for Mississippi State. The guy who's been their number one pitcher throughout the pre-conference schedule, Nate Dome, developed some arm soreness last week. So Dome, the right-hander who's been Mississippi State's ace, basically, uh, he apparently will be held out this weekend. So normally he'd be pitching tonight for Mississippi State, but because of the soreness, they're going to go with Evan Sieri. Uh, Sieri is making his first start of a of the weekend of a weekend game this season. He's only started uh, a couple of times this year. In fact, 
Corsieri. This will be his second start of the year and is only his fifth appearance of the year. He's 0-1 with a 4.50 ERA. He's worked just six innings, given up three runs on seven hits, no walks, and seven strikeouts. He has allowed one home run on the year. The scouting report on Sierra says uh, his fastball runs at 90 to 94 miles per hour. The fastball does have a lot of ride and run from a lower release height. He also mixes in a slider at 83 to 86 and an occasional changeup, 84 to 87 miles per hour. So uh, the Mississippi State, uh, going down into its pitching rotation to bring up Sierra in place of the normal number one, Nate Dome. So we'll see how the Tiger hitters can adjust against the Mississippi State right-hander. Meanwhile, LSU definitely has their ace on the mound tonight. Luke Holman has been phenomenal for the Tigers, the junior right-hander uh, from the state of Pennsylvania, transfer from the University of Alabama. Luke has been just exceptional so far. 4-0 and on the year, an ERA of zero. In 24 innings, he's allowed no runs on just eight hits, four walks, and 40 strikeouts. Opponents hitting just 103 against Luke Holman. Uh, this, of course, Luke is familiar with SEC play as he pitched. Uh, he was Alabama's number one pitcher last year. So this, this environment and this setting should be no problem for him as far as the adjustment. So looking forward to seeing Luke Holman pitch against Evan Sieri for Mississippi State tonight. Again, sophomore even Evan Sieri, the right-hander, and as uh, Bill mentioned, junior right-hander Luke Holman going for your Tigers. Fans, grace and events and entertainment, it's your one-stop shop for all of your party and event rental needs. From carnival rides to mechanical bull rentals, inflatables, and much more, they have what you need to make your next party, festival, or corporate event the best one yet. Give them a call now at 225-436-6520. You will not be disappointed. We'll continue with more. Up next, we visit with the top Tiger. Jay Johnson will join us next right here on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Hey, Tiger fans. No game day is complete without Noel Spirits from Noel Family Distillery. Founded by a father-daughter duo, Noel Family Distillery is the only Louisiana distillery offering authentic tequila. Their additive-free tequila captures the spirit of Louisiana, creating a spirits experience worthy of the Tigers and their loyal fans across the country. Noel Tequila is proud to be the official tequila of LSU Athletics. Enjoy Noel Tequila at the box or grab a bottle of your own at many fine retailers. Learn the unique Noel Distillery story at noeldistillery.com. What does it mean to be the best? How do you achieve success? For our Lady of the Lake Health and LSU, we do it by working as a team. We achieve greatness together. Our partnership means student athletes get the best care so they can perform their best and be there for the team. Our Lady of the Lake Health and LSU, together we roar. Albertsons, curbside pickup is easy, but delivery is even easier. Try our new Fresh Pass program and enjoy unlimited free delivery on all your grocery needs. We're offering even more perks like 5% off some of our best brands like O Organic and Open Nature. Plus, even more awards that never expire to use on gas or free groceries. Start your free 30-day trial today when you sign up for Albertsons Fresh Pass and get free delivery anytime and exclusive perks. Visit albertsons.com slash fresh pass for program details. Albertsons, fresh foods, local flavor. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freightline, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freightline, official freight carrier of LSU Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Back on the Hub International On Deck Show with first pitch of LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball just around the corner. Time now to visit with Tiger skipper Jay Johnson. Presented by Hancock Whitney, the official bank of LSU Athletics on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Coach, here we are, start of SEC play. I know to you and the team, it's just another game on the schedule, the most important game up to this point. But it is the start of SEC play, and last year your squad, 9-5 and five on the road. Very good. You get to start out against Mississippi State in one of the toughest places to play in the conference. Yeah, I look at this as one of the best places to play in the conference. Beautiful ballpark, great environment. I think it's good for the next step in our team to come in here and play in a hostile environment. 
Yeah, we're certainly excited about conference play. I mean, this is far and away the best conference in the country, and uh, we're excited for this opportunity. I know that, as you say, it's always each day you got to get better, each game you got to get better. But leading into conference play with the schedule uh, and the way your guys play through the non-conference, you happy where you are at this point as you turn the corner? Yeah, I think they did a nice job with that. We challenged them. We played more games this year than we ever have before the conference play started. And, um, you know, you're not going to go perfect in this thing. But uh, they've been pretty good. Uh, will to win is good. And uh, excited for this next challenge. Again, I know a lot of guys have been through this. They've played in the SEC. They know what it's like at home. They know what it's like at uh, on the road. Do you have to say anything about the level of competition stepping up starting this weekend? You know, the only thing we address is you might take a few more punches. I mean, we got a couple pitchers that haven't even given up a run yet. And so just your ability to respond quickly and just stay in the fight is really the most important element of transitioning to conference play. One of the things I know you've been thrilled with is the depth and talent that you knew you had on the roster. So far, they've been able to deliver both in starting roles and out of the bullpen. Uh, kind of what's the pitching plan tonight to start off the weekend? Yeah, I mean, we're excited to have Luke going. I believe he's one of the best pitchers in the country and going to give us a chance to win uh, every night that he goes out there. And then uh, we feel like we got out of the Tuesday, Wednesday thing pretty good, you know, not using some guys and using some guys lightly. So we feel locked and loaded and ready to go. Briefly, before I let you go, let's talk about Mississippi State. I know in this league, you win a game, you're on top of the world. When you lose a game, the sky is falling. <laughs> Mississippi State started off maybe a little rough, but they've won 10 out of their last 11. What do you see yeah, in the Bulldogs? Really good team. Dakota Jordan's hitting the ball better than anybody in the conference right now, which means better than anybody in the country. Uh, top of the order, really talented and athletic. Uh, they've done a good job from the mound. They've limited teams pretty good, so I expect a tightly contested series. Coach, this is why the guys come and play at LSU. It's why you came to coach at LSU. It's why I call games at LSU. Excited to start SEC play. Best of luck. Get after them. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Head Coach Jay Johnson, everybody. We'll take a timeout, get your starting lineups, and get you ready from the dude. Game one, LSU and Mississippi State coming up on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Going to the track, the wall. Have you ever wanted to watch LSU baseball on TV but hear the action from the LSU Sports Radio Network? Just sync the game with the LSU Sports mobile app. It's easy to do. Just pause the TV. Use the LSU Sports mobile app to stream the audio on your smartphone or tablet. Connect to a smart speaker. Then wait for the audio to catch up to the point your TV is paused. Push play and you are all set. Sync the game with the LSU Sports mobile app for iOS and Google devices. Download it today. Tigers win. Tigers win. Win are three letters more than three letters. When they represent 14 storied universities, generations of tradition and unbridled passion, stadiums and arenas swell with diehard fans, more than 260 national titles, thousands of All-Americans and hundreds of Olympians. And the one conference where every catch, shot, swing and stride just means more. Tiger fans 12 and younger, don't miss your chance to be a part of Mike's Kids Club. Presented by Shell, the exclusive Kids Club of LSU Athletics. Join Mike's Kids Club for only $25. Get the official Mike's Kids Club t-shirt, free admission to select LSU athletic events, and much, much more. To learn about upcoming events and to join, please visit LSUMKC.com. The Mike's Kids Club, presented by Shell. First pitch of LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball is just moments away. Here's the 0-2. High in the air to left center field. Waldschmidt will just watch it. See ya! But first, as the Hub International On Deck show continues, here are the starting lineups presented by Cintas. Build a better workday when you partner with Cintas. Visit Cintas.com. Bulldogs of Mississippi State. Chris Lamonis at the helm, 13 and 5. Their record headed in to conference play. They'll lead things off with Amani Larry, the DH, a senior batting 309 to start the year. David Mershon will bat second, play second base. The right fielder, Dakota Jordan, will be in right batting third. Hunter Hines will be the cleanup hitter. He is the Bulldog first baseman, a junior hitting 276 with one home run and 16 runs batted in. Connor Hyzak will be in center field. He'll bat fifth. Aaron Downs will be in left in the sixth spot. 
In the seven hole, it'll be third baseman Logan Kohler. Johnny Long will be behind the plate catching, batting eighth, and rounding out the lineup. It'll be Dylan Cup, the shortstop, the freshman, batting ninth for the Bulldogs. Now for your Fighting Tigers of LSU. Coach Jay Johnson in his third season, 16 and two coming into conference play. Mac Bingham will lead things off for the Tigers. He'll be in left field, the senior with an even 300 average. Tommy White batting second will play third base. Steven Monster Milam, the freshman will be at second base. He will bat third. It'll be Jared Jones in the cleanup spot playing first base for the Tigers. Hayden Travinsky will be the DH tonight. He'll bat fifth in the order. Brady Neal will be behind the plate catching, batting sixth. Michael Braswell, the third, will be in the seven hole, the shortstop for the Tigers. Paxton Kling will bat eighth in the order, play center field. And Josh Pearson getting the start here this evening will be in right field. He will bat ninth. Again, for the Bulldogs, it'll be Evan Sierra, a sophomore right-hander. And for your Tigers, junior right-hander, Lou Coleman. We're just about set to go. Both teams ready. Coaches have met. Umpires are set. Bulldogs about to take to the field in first pitch in game one. Mississippi State hosting LSU coming up on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Find more at LoBear's Baton Rouge. More excitement, more gaming, more staycation action. Football fans get more too with our 22 foot video wall. Don't miss out on the area's best Asian food at Red Lotus or find dining at its best at 18 Steak. Let our exceptional staff take care of your every need. Add more to your story in the heart of South Baton Rouge, only at Lobert's. Must be 21 to enter. Gambling problem? Call 1 877 770 STOP. The LSU Tigers excel due to great preparation, talent, and execution. Those same principles are what make National Trend Safety the leader in the trend safety equipment industry. National Trend Safety is recognized across the country as the trench and traffic safety specialist, supporting the equipment rental and engineering needs for the refining, chemical, pipeline, power, transportation, and municipal market. Visit ntsafety.com today for more details. Remember, if it's in the trench, over the trench, or around the trench, National Trend Safety has you covered. Go Tigers! Bingo Road Spray is a miracle in a can. Just spray the baseboard in the kitchen and bathroom, and in just a little while, your roaches are dead on the floor. It's incredible. Bingo Road Spray is odorless, clean, and easy to use. Bingo guarantees roach extermination overnight. SEC Championship. This team, a strike and an out away from a natty. 26 regional titles. Two outs, runner at first. 19 trips to Omaha in the College World Series. The 0-2 pitch. Seven national championships. LSU Sports Radio Network. Good Friday evening, Tiger fans, and welcome to Starkville, Mississippi. Duty Noble Field here inside Polk Domain Stadium. The start of SEC play here in 2024 as your Fighting Tigers of LSU take on Mississippi State. Leading things off for the Tigers will be Mac Bingham, the senior. Again, a batting average of 300 on the year. Get the leadoff spot here to start SEC play. Tonight's team colors presented by Centos will get you those. First, Evan Sierra ready to work, and the first pitch delivered a called strike. We are underway. Time of first pitch, 6:01 Central Time. Centos build a better workday when you partner with Centos. Visit Centos.com. Sierra, the right-hander, ready to go. Swing and a miss. Fastball up and in. Bingham, late coming around. Tough time to put a bat on that ball. Tigers in their purple jerseys, white pants, LSU purple batting helmets, Mississippi State going with maroon jerseys, white pants, and the camo hats as Bingham launches one in the air. Left center field, wind carrying it back towards the center fielder, and Connor Isaac gets under it, records out number one. As Bingham retired, that'll bring up Tommy White, one of the great ballparks in all of America when it comes to college baseball. For that matter, one of the better ballparks, period. 
fans a little slow arriving with a six o'clock first pitch and again rain on and off throughout the afternoon hours here. Tommy White stands in Sierra ready to fire and the pitch to the right hander is swung on foul back into the screen. So Bill it's great to start conference play if you have to do it on the road That's for right. you and I selfishly this is a nice place to call a game. It is it's, it's a beautiful facility of course they've upgraded it tremendously in recent years. The 0 1 to White will look out down the left field line foul into the screen. Still amazing to me that those screens extended down beyond the third base line. Really, relatively new when you think of the game of baseball. Here's the 0 2 to White. Jammed him, pops it up, but he fouls it back out of play behind us. It will be still nothing and two to Tommy White. White, the junior, batting 310. The better two strike hitters in college baseball. He'll spread out there in the right side of the batter's box as the pitch. Just missed outside. Good take by Tommy White. Catcher Johnny Long was ready to throw down to third. Thought it would be a called strike three. Did not get it. One ball, two strikes here to White. Just underway, top of the first inning. With one away, the pitch. Same spot, this time a little farther off the plate, and it evens the count, two balls and two strikes. Sierra is actually making his second career start against LSU. He started game one of their series last year in Baton Rouge. 2-2 in the air to right field. Going back, Dakota Jordan gets to the track. Again, the wind playing a little havoc, but he's got room. A couple of steps on the track, makes the play for out number two. Long ride opposite field, but allowed out by Tommy White, two down here in the top half of the first inning. Time for your game day weather report. Again, it was a little bit of sitting around waiting if the rain would leave. It eventually did, and we were able to get on time for game one. Your game day weather report brought to you by AccuTemp. Chance of power outages never. Get a whole home generator from AccuTemp and keep the power in your hands. 67 degrees here in Starkville. Heavy cloud cover, but expected to have no rain the rest of the evening. As it looks like, was there a delay called? I believe so. I'm not sure if it was called on the pitcher or the hitter. It wasn't clear. It's not on the scoreboard. It doesn't indicate. Now it's one and one. So it must have been a strike. must have been called on Milam. Yeah, they said Milam delayed getting there to get ready for the pitch. Here's a ground ball up the middle. Nice backhand by Mershon at second. Comes up throwing to first in time for out number three. So the Tigers go in order to get it started here. No runs, no hits, nobody on base. We played a half inning scoreless. Mississippi State coming to the plate when we continue on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Tiger fans, this is Eddie Kennison, former LSU football wide receiver. If you know me, you know I'm all about making big plays. Tigers win! Tigers win! That's why I joined the team at LSU Sports Properties. Our goal here is to help businesses make big plays both on and off the field. If you want to give your brand that competitive edge and be a part of the biggest stage in college sports, give the corporate sponsorship team at LSU Athletics a call. Your brand, our fans. Utilize the power of LSU Athletics to promote your business and sponsor LSU Athletics today. Call 225-578-2788. Go Tigers. When are three letters more than three letters? when they represent 14 storied universities, generations of tradition and unbridled passion, stadiums and arenas swelled with diehard fans, Mike check, one, two. more than 260 national uh, titles, of level thousands of All-Americans, and hundreds of Olympians. Yeah, y'all sound good. The one conference where every catch, shot, swing, and stride just means more. LSU Tiger fans are gearing up with real Tigers apparel and merchandise from the official online store at lsushop.net. Get jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, official team merchandise from Nike, accessories, and much more. Over 3,600 products all ship right to your door. Head to the place real Tiger fans go for the selection only real Tiger fans get at lsushop.net. Home of the reigning champion LSU Fighting Tigers. This is the LSU Sports Radio Network. Go to the bottom of the first inning. Scoreless LSU three up, three down. Now Luke Coleman on the mound for the Tigers. He'll face 
First three batters for Mississippi State, which we know will be Amani Larry, David Mershon, and Dakota Jordan. Holman again has been spectacular, really all season long since transferring in from Alabama, but no surprise, Jay Johnson three weeks ago deciding to put him in the game one, or as they say sometimes, in this case, Friday night starting role. We'll start SEC play doing just that here for LSU. It'll be Amani Larry to lead it off, a senior batting 309. A right-hander stands in. Holman ready to work. The right-hander fires, and it popped up out of play behind us. It's 0-1. Amani Larry may be a name familiar to LSU fans as he started his collegiate career in New Orleans at UNO and then transferred prior to last season to Mississippi State. Owen won the count. Holman fires. Here's a ground ball, and it gets by Braswell right up the middle. So Amani Larry with a leadoff single. Mississippi State has the first base runner of tonight's game. That'll bring David Mershon to the plate. Jay Johnson said it earlier in the week. He said the front portion of this Mississippi State lineup is as dangerous as any in the league. Larry, Mershon, Jordan, and, and Hines, all excellent SEC hitters. So Holman certainly will be challenged. Mershon, a left-handed hitter, stands in. Made a great play at second base to end it for LSU there in the top half. Of course, sometimes that results in success at the plate following a defensive play as the first pitch fouled off down the line in left field, and it's 0-1. Great to be here on this Friday night. Made my way back from Nashville last night. Made the nice little drive to Starkville this morning. Bill did a great job. Had my room ready and everything, <laughs> just as I asked for. Here's one swung out in the air down the line in left. Bingham giving chase, has room, and in fair territory makes the grab. For out number one, Mershon retired. That will send Larry back to first base. I ordered the Skip Burtman special, the room without a view. Very nice. That's exactly what I got. <laughs> Skip always insisted on that back in the days when we stayed at the Ramada Inn on Highway 12. I certainly got the room he would love. <laughs> Runner at first, one down. Dakota Jordan at the plate. Pitch to the right-hander, breaking ball. Did he go around? They appealed to first. They say no. <laughs> LSU dugout thought he did. It looked like from here, Bill, that he did as well. Certainly did. According to first base umpire Ronnie Teague, he did not, so it's 1-0. and oh. uh, Dakota Jordan is as hot as any hitter in the country right now. This guy's been really knocking the cover off the ball. Breaking ball. Again, just missed. Leaning in is Jordan, but stays away. A couple of off-speed breaking balls to start him off from Luke Holman. Runner takes the lead at first. Holman glances to first. Now from the stretch, fires. Swing and a miss. Off-speed dropped off the table, and it's 2-1 and one now. The count to Jordan. Infield playing the shift to the left side with the right-handed hitter. White playing near the line. Braswell deep in the hole. It's short, and Milam left of second base. The pitch, ground ball, and he beats the shift in between Milam and Braswell, and that will send Larry into second base, and a one-out single for Jordan. Certainly shows the firepower they have atop their order. So with one out, runners first and second, the cleanup hitter coming to the plate, and that's Hunter Hines, the first baseman. That ball was smashed by Dakota Jordan. As you said, the Tigers had the shift on. Milam was playing on the left side of the second base bag, but that ball was hit so hard. Steven really had no time to, to get to it. And now we'll have a timeout as Jay Johnson makes his way out to the mound to speak to Luke Holman. So Jay out on the mound here will bring the infield in. That gets the crowd into this one early here. Bottom of the first. The Bulldogs with a semi-threat here with one out. Runners first and second. Taking a look at today's ingredients for success. Brought to you by BRQ Seafood and Barbecue. Official catering service of LSU Athletics. And Bill, it goes without saying, it starts with Luke Holman, and Jay Johnson told us as much prior to today's game. Go out, do what he has done. He's had great location with the fastball, as well as command and control of his breaking stuff. But he'll be challenged like he has not been challenged to this point now that the SEC has begun. And Jay has often said that, that he'd hate to be on the opposing side having to prepare for Luke Holman because Luke can throw any pitch in any count. 
First delivery. Miss low. Ball one. One and oh. Tigers come out of the midweek games with the Bison. Pretty good shape as far as arms at the ready this weekend, which is exactly what Coach Johnson wanted. There's a breaking ball in for a strike to Hines. Evens it up one and one. Yeah, this staff has really been amazing so far in terms of depth and the variety of pitchers that LSU can throw at you. Turn and throw to second. Braswell gets to it and just sliding back safely. The second base is Larry, and that throw may be a little closer to the bag, and Braswell comes straight at it. Might have, up a, have a closer play there, but the throw just off the mark. Braswell playing right behind the second base bag against the left-handed hitting Hines. Here's the 1-1. Pitch inside, scoots him off the plate. That'll make it two balls and one strike. That was a rare fastball from Holman in this game. That went clocked at 93. He's been relying mostly on his breaking stuff so far. Hines batting 276, 267 with runners in scoring position. Again, a throwback to second. And easily back is Larry, and now Braswell going to deliver the baseball in person. Maybe talk a little strategy there as Braswell almost, Bill, looked a little off yeah. guard. He was playing, as you said, right of second base, kind of shaded behind the bag, but wasn't really coming into the bag. Had to just make sure he secured the throw. Two and one the count. Pitch to Hines. Swing and a miss. Got that one by him. Yeah, that time he came right out. Hines with the fastball. Hines could not catch up with it. One out. Runners first and second. Bottom of the first. No score. Holman's pitch. Brought it upstairs. Hines stays away. That will fill the count three and two. Big pitch right here for Holman. He's got to come with something in the zone. Hines awaits. Righty on lefty matchup. Here's the pitch. Ground ball, and it's foul just right of first base. Jared Jones diving into foul territory. Snags the bouncer, but first base umpire Ronnie Teague, very clear. It was right at the bag. That will re-rack things. Still three and two to Hines. Making sure Jared's okay. He kind of bent over at the waist, put his hands on his knees. He might have knocked the wind out of himself a little bit. He's still kind of looks a little wobbly over there, but he's he's back in position now. Yeah, the turf, it's a natural grass on the field, but it's turf down the sidelines, and it's a little worn there. There's a breaking ball called strike three. Holman not fooling around. Goes with the breaking stuff to the left-hander, bent his knee, and Hines just kind of tossed the bat and walked towards the dugout. He knew it. Big second out, first strikeout for Holman. And that will bring Isaac, the center fielder, to the plate, batting 327. 348 with runners in scoring position, 278 with two outs in the inning. Runners first and second, off speed but upstairs from Holman, and it's 1 0. Wow, what a pitch by Holman. Full count to the cleanup hitter with two runners on and one out. And as I said, he's not afraid to throw any pitch in any count. That was perfectly executed. This pitch, breaking ball, catches the inside corner, evens it up one and one. Not sure Hyzak agreed with that, thought it was a little high and inside. Monty Larry at second, Dakota Jordan at first base. The pitch off the end of the bat, foul over us and out of play. Gets Holman ahead one and two. Started the inning, singled up the middle. Mershon would fly out to left field. Jordan would single up the middle against the shift. And a strikeout. And now Holman trying to keep it a scoreless game. This one fouled off the bat of Hyzak out of play right side. Still one ball and two strikes. Fans, Our Lady of the Lake, proud to be LSU's championship help partner. Together, LSU and Our Lady of the Lake, champions for Louisiana. Together we roar. Learn more at OLOLRMC.com slash LSU. The pitch, the one-two, ground ball to Milam. Skips along the infield. He will handle, throw to first in time for out number three. So the Bulldogs, well, they tease with two men on, but they leave them stranded. No runs, two hits. Those two men left on at first and second. We move to the top of the second inning. Scoreless here in Starkville. Back after this on the LSU Sports Radio Network.
On game day, Tiger fans are hungry for a win. So when LSU hits the field, Manda hits the grill with a legendary flavor that's in a league of its own. Manda's top quality meats and original seasonings are the fielder's choice for game day and every day. So from one legend to another, make sure Manda is on deck to throw a perfect game day party. Manda, the official smoked sausage of LSU Athletics. Hub International is Louisiana's premier employee benefits and commercial insurance brokerage. Hub can insure just about any risk that your business faces. Did you know Hub even insured the bonuses for our football coaches in 2022? Hub specializes in the construction, healthcare, real estate, and hospitality industries. Chances are you're probably already doing business with someone who does business with Hub. Turn to the agency that the Tigers, Saints, and Pelicans choose, Hub International. Visit them today at hubinternational.com. If you live in Louisiana, you know what the many plants up and down the river mean for our state's economy. And for over 40 years, Action Industries has been committed to providing quality construction, maintenance, operational, and consulting services through the refinery and petrochemical industries. When it comes to safety and quality, Action Industries beats the industry standard. Call today or visit actionindinc.com. That's Action Tigers come to the plate. Scoreless game here at top of the second inning. Leading things off will be Jared Jones, the Tiger first baseman. Evan Sierra delivers a first pitch called strike, and it is 0-1. Jones batting for the first time today, of course. 298 average on the season. Sierra's pitch, ground ball into the shift, the shortstop. Dylan Cup going to throw it high and force Hunter Hines to apply the tag. The throw was there in time, and Hines gets the tag on Jones to record out number one. Nice work at first base by Hines. That throw was up the line from Cup, the shortstop. But he still had plenty of time to make the grab and tag out Jared. To the plate comes Hayden Travinsky, the DH here in game one against the Bulldogs. First pitch. Missed inside. One ball, no strikes. Hayden batting 328. Picking up to start the season where he left off last year as he knocks this to center field. Diving his high, Zach. Tried to get it, but it takes a short hop then off his glove. It'll have to be retrieved by Dakota Jordan. Backing him up, and Travinsky in with a double. Travinsky continues to be productive offensively early in this 2024 season. He's now reached base safely in all 19 of LSU's games. Isaac taking a bit of a risk there. Looked like he was just going to let the ball drop in front of him for a single, but thought he had a play, but just couldn't quite come up with it. And Travinsky takes the extra base. So they'll hand it as a double to Travinsky. Again, Isaac was playing deep in center where he remains now with Brady Neal at the plate. So the Tigers get the Runner at second, first runner in scoring position, first base runner for the Tigers today, and the first pitch to Neal, a called strike, and it's 0-1. Neal stands in, batting 348. 429 with runners in scoring position. Chance here to give the Tigers an early lead. Sierra looks back to second, now pitches, and it misses outside. Evens it up, one ball and one strike. Starting to see a little sunshine trying to peek through the clouds here. Yeah, this has turned into a pretty nice evening. Again, not capacity crowd. A few empty seats here in game one. 1-1 one, one delivery. Swing and a miss. Late getting around on that one. Falls behind one and two. Neal's been swinging pretty hot that in recent games. Five hits in his last four games. Three RBI and a couple of doubles in that four-game stretch. Choke up on the bat a little bit. Sierra. 1 2 pitch swung on fouled back off the bat of Neal keeps it one ball and two strikes. Depth is a great thing at any position LSU has it. Across the board but certainly. In the catcher spot where Neal can play catcher tonight be in the lineup. Travinsky. Can also play catcher he's the DH tonight no oh, by the way one of the best defensive catchers in the country is at the ready. 
as Neal launches this to center field. Hyzak, though, going back, settles under it, and he'll make the grab. Travinsky going to tag up from second and the throw off the mark as Logan Kohler had to go into foul territory to retrieve it on one hop. Hyzak showing the strength of his arm, Bill, but it was not accurate. And Travinsky makes his way to third. So with two outs, it'll be up to Michael Braswell here to see if the Tigers can scratch a run across, take an early lead. Well, Brady just missed on that pitch. He hit it well, just didn't quite get enough of it. It's pretty shallow dimensions here in center field. First delivery to Braswell, high and outside, ball one. It's only about 390 feet to straightaway center field here. Braswell readies the bat and the pitch. Nice breaking ball at the knees called strike one and one. Braswell this season batting 245. Has driven in 13 runs. The transfer from South Carolina settling in as a Tigers. This one lifted in the air. Foul territory right side and it will make its way into the second level and out of play. One ball two strikes now to Braswell. Braswell on the year is hitting 308 with runners in scoring position. He's four for 13. Looking to give LSU a lead right now. Travinsky takes his lead off third. Two outs. Sierra fires. And Braswell gets a piece, stays alive, sends it into the screen. Count will remain. One ball, two strikes. Fan scratch made dishes, wall to wall TVs, craft beers, and cocktails. Find your nearest location or order online in the app. Walk on Sports Bistro for the win. Did notice on my way in there is a walk ons right across the there street certainly from the is. team hotel. This one again fouled back off the bat of Braswell out of play. Still one ball and two strikes, which yep. means we may have to do some <laughs> reconnaissance. Absolutely. Before must, the weekend is over. Must be one of the newer walk ons franchises because I don't believe it was there two years ago. It last was time. not. Last I don't time believe we were here. so. Yeah. Wasn't much of anything out there where we are. Yeah. There's the one two. Braswell lifts it again. Foul right side. We'll head towards the berm down the line. Still one ball, two strikes. Michael Braswell making Evan Sierra work for this final out of the second inning. Sierra's up to 27 pitches right now. Runner at third, two outs. Braswell hits go. it high and deep to left field. Aaron Downs will stop shy of the track as it starts to come down. He'll have plenty of room and records out number three. Well hit initially, but hangs up in the air. And the Tigers come up empty. No runs, one hit, one man left on. We're still scoreless. We head to the bottom of the second. Bulldogs coming to the plate. It'll be Downs, Kohler, and Long, 6-7-8. When we return on the LSU Sports Radio Network. LSU baseball on TV, but hear the action from the LSU Sports Radio Network. Just sync the game with the LSU Sports mobile app. It's easy to do. Just pause the TV. Use the LSU Sports mobile app to stream the audio on your smartphone or tablet. Connect to a smart speaker, then wait for the audio to catch up to the point your TV is paused. Push play, and you are all set. Sync the game with the LSU Sports mobile app for iOS and Google devices. Download it today. The SEC is more than the Southeastern Conference. It's the Saturday Electrifying Conference, the Sunday Elite Conference, the Stadium Erupting Conference, the Stunning Eyeballs Conference, the Superbly Entertaining Conference, the Storied Enduring Conference, and more often than not, the See You Later Everyone Else Conference. This is the SEC, where it just means more. Tiger fans 12 and younger, don't miss your chance to be a part of Mike's Kids Club. Presented by Shell, the exclusive Kids Club of LSU Athletics. Join Mike's Kids Club for only $25. Get the official Mike's Kids Club t-shirt, free admission to select LSU athletic events, and much, much more. To learn about upcoming events and to join, please visit LSUMKC.com. The Mike's Kids Club, presented by Shell. Live 
coverage of LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball continues on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Turned into a beautiful evening here in Starkville, Mississippi. Head to the bottom of the second inning, scoreless between the Bulldogs and your Tigers. Holman, first pitch offered up. Going to be smacked with a base hit to left field off the bat of Aaron Downs. And for the second straight inning, leadoff man aboard for the Bulldogs. That didn't take any time at all. Right now, Mississippi State so far, Bill, seen Luke Holman very, very well. Looked like Downs was waiting on a fastball, and that's exactly what he got. He jumped on that fastball offering from Holman, drives it sharply into left field, and Mississippi State swinging the bat with a lot of confidence right now. So with Aaron Downs aboard at first, we'll see Logan Kohler, the third baseman. Kohler batting 227, a senior for Coach Lamonis. This pitch low and inside for ball one, 1-0. One and oh. This Mississippi State Club hitting 293 as a team, which is number 10 in the SEC. 1-0, swing and a miss, dropped off the table. And Kohler lost a piece of gear. I don't know if that was an arm guard. Yeah, needs a new one. Maybe now get a little more sticky on the bat there. It's looked like he almost lost the bat entirely. So he'll step back in from the left side. Runner at first, nobody out. Holman to the plate. Inside on the hands. Two and one the count. Mississippi State in this lineup tonight. Switch hitter along with two lefties, including Kohler's. This one's fouled back. Again, his equipment keeps falling off. <laughs> I think that's an, a yeah, forearm he, guard. I think he just had enough of it. He just fired it back toward the third base dugout and said, forget it. I thought that Kohler was falling apart. <laughs> Hopefully. Pieces, pieces were just flying all over the batter's box. Two and two the count. Holman fires at go. the knees. Called strike three. Second punch out for Holman. So after giving up the leadoff single, fires back with a strikeout. Kohler retired. That will bring Long to the plate. Nice recovery by Luke Holman. After the leadoff single allowed to Downs, comes back with a K of Kohler. Now he's down to the eight and nine hitters in the state lineup. Johnny Long, the catcher, a senior batting just 192 on the year. Again with one out, runner at first, scoreless game. Breaking ball just missed a bit inside. One ball and no strikes. Downs does not appear to be a threat to run. He's not attempted a steal this year, and there he goes. There he goes. A little tapper in front of the mound, picked up barehanded by Neal. His only play is to first. Make sure he gets the second out of the inning. Great play as that one barely made a sound off the bat, then hit the turf, which is in front of home plate. Not sure it really got, but about a foot and a half into the infield grass, but a great play by Neal. Just picked it up with a bare hand, gets the sure out at first, so a runner at second. And two down. It will bring up the number nine hitter in the shortstop, Dylan Cup, a freshman batting 246, a right hander. Again with Downs in scoring position in a scoreless game. Holman looking to get the Tigers back in the dugout quickly here. First pitch. Missed outside, ball one. This will be pitch number 30 for Holman. Checks the runner. 1-0 pitch. Beautiful breaking ball in for a strike at the belt. One ball and one strike. Fans, turn your dreams into reality with Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event. Visit your local Toyota dealer or Toyota.com today. Runner at second. Pitch to the plate, missed upstairs, two and one. Though he's only a freshman, Cup has been a very good clutch hitter for Mississippi State this year. Eight for 20, at, eight for 20 a 400 average with runners in scoring position. Pitch to the plate, little tapper, could be trouble. Tommy White having to charge in, glove side, has to put it in his pocket. An infield single, just a swinging bunt down the third base line. 
by Dylan Cup will keep the inning going. White was playing fairly deep at third. No chance for Holman to get to it. I don't know if you could place an infield single any better based on the alignment of the defense than Cup just did. And it puts runners first and third with two out. Unfortunate for Holman, the infield hit. Now he has to face the top of the order again for the Bulldogs. Pretty effective were the first three hitters. Larry and Hines, or rather Jordan and Larry, each with a single in the bottom of the first. Larry one for one. First pitch off speed. They'll say missed outside, and it's ball one. Larry had the single up the middle. Left stranded at second base there in the bottom of the first. But now a little more pressure on Holman with downs at third, cup at first, two down. The 1 0. Upstairs misses ball two, two and 0. Oh. Larry's also been good with runners in scoring position. He's hitting 353 when he has an RBI opportunity. Holman from the stretch. 2 0 -oh pitch. Off speed, not sure where it missed. They say ball three. Maybe inside, Bill? Looked like a great pitch to me, and then Holman, you could tell, was not too pleased with the call. So now 3 0 count. Holman delivers. That one a called strike. It appeared Larry had the full take on. That'll make it 3 and 1. So still some trouble to work out of here if you're Luke Holman. Trying to keep it a scoreless game. Runners first and third, two outs. The pitch to Larry. Fastball lofts it into shallow left field. Didn't have much on that one, but just enough over the head of Braswell and in front of Bingham. And that will score downs in Mississippi State with the RBI single from Larry, his second hit early in this game. They'll make it a 1 0 lead for the Bulldogs. Amani Larry, the transfer from UNO, off to a very good start for this Mississippi State team. He's a native of Bossier City, Louisiana. And he has his Bulldogs off to a 1 0 lead against Luke Holman. Runners first and second, still two outs. Second time tonight, we've seen David Mershon, the second baseman. He flied out to left field. Last time up, here's a swing and a miss. Got him all twisted up off speed, and it's 0 and 1. Mershon, a very dangerous hitter from Mississippi State, second on the or third on the club in RBI with 14. Cup at second, Larry at first. Holman's 0-1 pitch, fastball inside corner, gets him ahead, nothing in two. will take their lead. Breaking ball called strike three. Beautifully done by Holman. But the Tigers give up the run. They trail one nothing. One run on three hits. Two men left on for the Bulldogs. The Tigers come to the plate in the top of the third inning. Trailing one nothing on the LSU Sports Radio Network. It's good to be able to make a change. To never feel stuck. That's why at Cox we're making a change too. Now Cox internet plans are flexible, so you can choose to just go with internet, add TV tomorrow, or home automation down the line. It's easier than ever to get just what you want and nothing you don't. Flexible plans from Cox. Change any time. No commitments, no penalties. See for yourself at cox.com slash internet. Additional services can be added at then current regular rates. All services subject to residential customer service agreement and acceptable use policy. Restrictions apply. There's nothing like the feeling of a grand slam, and every great play deserves a great sip. With 15% alcohol by volume and a colorful collection of fun flavors, Buzz Balls are the perfect ready-to-drink cocktail for every moment of the game. Try the rich Choco Chiller, Zesty Lime Rita, Spicy Chili Mango, or discover your new favorite flavor. From play ball to the final pitch, there's something for everyone to enjoy in a matter of seconds. So cover all your bases and buy Buzz Balls today. Buzz Balls is a proud sponsor of LSU Athletics. Must be 21 plus. Please enjoy Buzz Balls responsibly. Buzz Balls, Carrollton, Texas. Visiting team, will it be heads or tails? Play heads or tails from the lottery. Win up to $3,000. Unlock your winnings playing Unlock It. Win up to $30,000. Play the new casino games. Poker Face, High Stakes. 
All in and King's Ransom. Win up to $14,000. Seven! Roll the dice with High Roller. Top prize is $100,000. Play all the new games from the lottery. Must be at least 21 to purchase. LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball lives here. The LSU Sports. Mississippi State leading LSU 1-0. Scratch one across on three hits there in the bottom half of the second inning. Will Coleman giving up his first earned run of the season here on this Friday night game one between the Bulldogs and Tigers. Paxton Kling will lead it off. He's in the eighth spot tonight. He'll show bunt, pull it back. It's a called strike. Nothing and one. Kling on the year batting 226. Seen him atop the order. We've seen him in the nine spot. Tonight he will be in the eight hole for the Tigers trying to get something started here early in the top of the first. Pitch looking to swing away and it misses outside evens account one and one. Tigers need Paxton to get going offensively he certainly has the ability. Open stance for the right hander and the pitch off speed but a strike just below the belt falls behind one and two. Pitch to Kling. Knock in the air to center field. Isaac going back. He gets to the track and just shy of the wall. Able to make the basket catch on the run. A loud one out to center field, but hangs up enough for the Bulldogs to make a play, and Kling retired on the fly out to center. Another one that appeared to just miss. Paxton got a good piece of bat on it, but just not quite enough. And again, Center field is not extremely deep here. And Isaac able to make the play near the wall. That'll bring Josh Pearson, who gets the start tonight in right, batting in the nine spot. Probably a candidate for a pretty good nine hole hitter, I would say, yeah. based on his career at LSU. First pitch missed outside, and it's 1 0. Pearson batting 227 so far in the non conference. Again, settling outside the pitch from Sierra, and it's two balls, no strikes. So Josh can capture some of the magic he had in Starkville two years ago as a true freshman. He had a, he had a breakout series here. 2 0 pitch. Big swing. Pops it up foul out of play, and it's 2 and 1. Last time the Tigers played here in Starkville, they swept Mississippi State in three games. That was back in 2022. Left hander digs back in. Three homers on the year, one triple. For Pearson here in 2024. So this pitch low and inside. They peel down to third, but Pearson did not go around. So three balls, one strike. And not much wind here at the ballpark at the moment. The flag's not moving out in right field as Pearson drives one to right center field, giving it a look, giving it a chase, and this one is gone. Pearson. The spark plug for the Tigers in the nine hole. Goes yard to right center field. His fourth home run of the season, and we are tied 1-1. Yeah, shades up 2022 for Josh Pearson. As a freshman here, he had a big series, and he gets the Tiger offense going with a blast into right center field. As you said, he may be the best number nine hitter in the country. His, his numbers are very misleading because we know what he's capable of, and he demonstrates it there. So with one swing of the bat, we are all knotted up at one run apiece and back to the top of the order. It'll be Mac Bingham coming to the plate. Fly it out to Isaac in center to start tonight's game. First pitch at the belt, a called strike, and it's 0-1. That was the second home run allowed by Sierra this season. Bingham awaits. Breaking ball and a ground ball. The short hop gets by Kohler, the third baseman. Bounces under his glove into left field. And a one out single. Great piece of hitting by Bingham. Had the breaking ball just hang over the plate. Got a solid swing into it. Skipped across the infield grass and just on the short hop. Got under the glove of Logan Kohler. Now we'll see Tommy White. So the Tigers wasting little time to tie the game up. Now looking for more here in the top of the third inning. White flew out to right field his first time up. First pitch. Sends one deep to right field, up again to the wall. This one into the seats. Two-run bomb for Tommy Tanks. 
And the Tigers take the lead three to one. Wow, did that get out of here in a hurry. That was a laser off the bat of Tommy White. We know the kind of power he has to all fields, and his opposite field power is as good as anyone's in the country. And that got out of here in a hurry. And now we'll have a timeout as Mississippi State's pitching coach is making his way to the mound. So a timeout taken here as Evan Sierra came into the inning. His team gave him a one run lead. Records the first out as Kleen flied out to center, then Pearson in the nine hole, homered to right center field. Bingham would single through the left side, and then Tommy Tanks goes yard to right center. And suddenly it's a 3 1 LSU lead. So going out to check on Sierra, just kind of settling down a little bit. There's a couple of body shots by LSU to get him stumbling a little bit. This already is Sierra's longest outing of the season. He's gone. He's worked two and a third innings here tonight. His previous high was just two innings. This Mississippi State again a little short handed in its pitching staff at least for tonight because their normal number one Nate Dome is out this weekend with a sore arm. So after the timeout Sierra will now face. Monster Milam, the Tigers second baseman, batting from the left side. First delivery. Misses low. Ball one. Milam. Grounds it out to the second baseman, Mershon, who made a great play with a backhand near the second base bag back in the first inning. Pitch to Milam. Swing and a bouncer foul. First base side. Handled by Coach Wanaka. Nice skills with the bare hand. We'll make it one ball, one strike to Milam. Great to see Steven back in the lineup. He took the day off on Wednesday against North Dakota State. He's got a little, he was a little nicked up on Tuesday. The 1 1 pitch. Strike on the inside corner surprises Milam, but falls behind in the count 1 and 2. By the way, Ronnie Teague, who we mentioned, our first base umpire, Scott Klein at second, Joe Harris at third, Derek Molika behind the plate calling balls and strikes. One ball, two strikes to Milam. He takes a swing and fouls it out of play left side. Keeps the count one and two. Remember, fans, SeatGeek now the official ticket marketplace of LSU Athletics. So whether you're buying or selling baseball tickets, SeatGeek, the place to do it, SeatGeek. So Tiger fans can fan. Milam, wide stance from the left side. One, two. Stayed away as it drops low, misses for ball two. Infield playing straight up. Still one out. LSU leading 3-1. Scratching three runs across on three hits, including two home runs. Milam swings and fouls it back into the screen. Steven Milam has made such an impression early in his LSU career, firmly establishing himself as a regular in the Tigers lineup very versatile player can play either second or shortstop. Nobody on one out. Two balls two strikes to Milam. Righty on lefty with the switch hitter the freshman awaits. Sierra fires and Milam launches one high in the air to right center field. This time Hyzak with room. About a step or two on the track is there to keep it in the park. You hear a sigh of relief from Bulldog fans here who saw another one come hot off the bat. Just hung up enough for the Isaac to make the play. That'll be the second out of the inning. We'll bring Jared Jones, who is 0 for 1 tonight, grounds it out to the shortstop Dylan Cup. His first time up in the second inning. First pitch to Jones swings fouls back out of play. Bulldogs with the shift against Jared Jones. Three defenders on the left side of the infield. We've seen Jared go the opposite way with power as well. There's a strike to Jones falls behind in the count nothing and two. Fastball at 92 from the right hander Evan Sierra. And they'll have the shift on left side of the infield for Jones stays away from the breaking ball. They appeal to first and he did not go around according to Ronnie T. Much to the dismay of Bulldog fans. 
But a good job. That's a pitch last year that Jones had a lot yeah. of trouble staying away from, and we've seen an improvement in that market improvement here in 2024. Here's the one two in on the hands and he fouls it off. No, I think you're absolutely right. Jay Johnson has praised Jared for his work in being a more patient hitter. He's already walked seven times, 17 times this year. Another delivery in the dirt got away from Johnny Long, the catcher. That will even the count now to Jones, two and two. 17 walks, 15 strikeouts this year for Jones. You'd like, you hope that rate stays consistent all year with more walks than strikeouts. Two and two the count. Jones the sophomore from Marietta. The right hander awaits. Sierra takes his time. Now begins the wind up and the pitch. Breaking ball in the air to right center field. This one going to get down. Bounce off the track off the wall. Jones turns it first sliding in at second and the throw. Not in time also got away from Dylan Cup. And so Jones in with a double to right center. Second double for the Tigers here today. Now Sierra having some trouble. Gives up his fourth hit of the inning. And with two outs, another runner in scoring position. And that brings Hayden Travinsky, who had the first double of the night, back in the second inning off Sierra. And there's that opposite field power we were discussing from Jared Jones. Nice piece of hitting with two strikes to keep this inning alive. Jared now with five doubles on the year. Three to one LSU leads. A chance to add to it here with Travinsky. The pitch outside miss ball one. Aiden with his seventh double of the year back in the second inning left stranded at third. But a chance to add to his RBI total with Jones down at second the 1 0 pitch swing and a miss. That went in on the hands and Travinsky thought he could get a bat on it. Had he done so it may have come off his thumbs. One ball, one strike. Zieri's pitch swung on and lifted foul out of play right side. Travinsky falls behind in the count one and two. Does not appear to be any action in the Mississippi State bullpen. Again, with, with the state of their staff this weekend, they're probably just counting on Sierra to go as long as he possibly can. One ball, two strikes to Travinsky. The pitch outside as long slides to his right. Keep a glove on it. Even to count now, two and two. Can we mention the dimensions? 330 down the lines. Bill mentioned relatively short to center field. Not one of the deepest parks in the SEC. Travinsky has no trouble in any facility. Here's the 2 2 swing and a foul once again right side keeps the count two balls two strikes down the lines both left and right. They have a set of berm to the left and right that run right to the foul line so a lot of foul territory beyond first base but down in the corners both left and right field not a lot of room to work with another 2 2 off speed upstairs Travinsky went around couldn't find it. That'll end it for the Tigers, but not before they tie and take the lead. Three runs on four hits. They leave one man on. Now move to the bottom of the third. Bulldogs come to the plate. Three, four, and five hitters do up when we continue. This is the LSU Sports Radio Network. The passion, the tradition, the rivalries. Sirius XM is your destination for all things color sports, and we've got you covered. On SEC Radio, there is complete coverage of every school in the conference, including live games, plus 24-7 talk and analysis. So cheer along on the Sirius XM app and listen to your favorite team anywhere. And now you can get three months of Sirius XM free. Subscribe now. See all for details at SiriusXM.com slash SEC Sports. When are three letters more than three letters? When they represent 14 storied universities, generations of tradition and unbridled passion, stadiums and arenas swelled with diehard fans, more than 260 national titles, thousands of All-Americans and hundreds of Olympians. And the one conference where every catch, shot, swing and stride just means more. LSU 
LSU Tiger fans are gearing up with real Tigers apparel and merchandise from the official online store at lsushop.net. Get jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, official team merchandise from Nike, accessories, and much more. Over 3,600 products all ship right to your door. Head to the place real Tiger fans go for the selection only real Tiger fans get at lsushop.net. All right, coming back home of the reigning champion LSU Fighting Tigers. This is the LSU Sports Radio Network. LSU leading Mississippi State now 3-1. to one. They move to the bottom of the third inning. Bulldogs come to the plate. Part of their order due up 3-4-5. and five. Jordan Hines and Hyzak. As Luke Holman now back out on the mound. His team gives him a two-run lead. First delivery, swing and a miss. Slider away. It's nothing and one. Of course, the outfield area full of Bulldog fans. Plenty of smoke and grills going here on this Friday. That pitch missed high and outside. Of course, the four-story condo building that rises in left center. Pitch from Holman. Overhand breaking ball missed high. Make it two and one. Of course, the late great Mike Leach famously lived there when he moved to Starkville from <laughs> Pullman, Washington. The two on, swing and a miss. Nice delivery by Holman, just slid off the table, evens the count two and two. Didn't want to leave. I bet he didn't. Until the administration said, hey, look, we pay you enough to buy a house. You need to buy a house. <laughs> that, that, that rooftop porch up there has Mike Leach written all over oh, it. Oh, yes. The two, two. Ground ball foul towards the third base dugout. In fact, of course, the first year they opened this, the SEC Network had their guys broadcast the beginning of the game from there on one of the balconies. A different vantage point. You'd have to get used to it. But I I think we could make it work. I imagine so. Another 2-2 delivery. High bouncing ball. They had the shift on, and he will beat the shift. Nobody at home to the right side. Takes three big bounces into right field before Pearson's able to get to it. And a leadoff single for Jordan. Well, again, that top of the order, as Bill said, one through three, as dangerous as anybody in the conference. And they have had success early against Holman. So another leadoff man aboard. That will bring up Hines, who was caught looking by Holman his first time up. Righty on lefty matchup and the pitch. Low and inside, ball one. No, you're absolutely right about the top of the lineup. The top three hitters are now a combined four for six against Holman. This time they'll have the shift on to the right side with the left-hander, left-hander Hines. Breaking ball at the knees for a strike makes it one and one. You know, the analytics tell you when you need to shift. There's no question. There's a lot of data behind it. But, boy, it always stings when you see a ground ball that <laughs> Just kind of floats its way into right field with nobody at home. Nice strong move to first by Holman. Not a huge lead by Jordan. He's back easily. Those are the types of plays that stand out. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that was a very routine ground ball that Milan would have handled had he been playing in normal position. Pitch to Hines. Hammered the line drive, but right at Pearson, who takes a couple of steps and makes the grab and right. That ball screaming out to right field. And Pearson calmly just slides a couple of steps to his left. And we're here at dusk, Bill, and I have yeah. to imagine when you're in right field and you've got the stands in your purview looking ahead at home plate and that ball searing at you, that's not an easy play. And again, Pearson so confidently made it look easy. Records the first out, still a runner at first, and we'll see Hyzak, the center fielder. Pitch to the right-hander, curveball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. This time of the day when the sun is just going down always appears to be the toughest sky to deal with for outfielders. Yeah, you're not quite using the lights. You're not quite using the yeah, sun. That's right. Another great pitch from Holman at the knees, 0-2 to Hyzak. Crowd didn't like it. And a runner at first in Jordan, leadoff single. Tigers leading three to one, trying to keep it that way. Holman 
delivers. Could be two. Ground ball to second. Milam to Braswell. And then the throw to first. It's away from Jones. Neal going to pick it up. Throw to second. It's over the head of Milam and will land softly in left field where it stopped there. Allowing Isaac to slide in safely at second. Looked like a routine ground ball. It was hit fairly hard to second base. Milam with the toss to Braswell, and then as he was running across the second base bag, a little awkward there, had to go sidearm on the throw to first, and it was up behind the bag, and Jones could not get it. Heads up played by Neal, almost had a play, but he overthrew it at second. Tigers have been really proficient with their double play execution, Milam and Braswell. That appeared to be a tailor-made 4-6-3, but as you said, Braswell just a little bit off balance with his throw, and. Jones couldn't quite scoop it up and Mississippi State now has another runner in scoring position. So Isaac at second he reaches there got a board on a fielder's choice and then gets the second on the throwing air. First pitch offered up to Downs who had a base hit came around to score that lone run for the Bulldogs in the second lets it miss outside for ball one. Holman to the plate. Another breaking ball over for a strike again been a heavy dose of breaking balls and off speed from Holman here we told you his fastball up there about 93 94 miles an hour but relying on the breaking pitches early and often so far in this one this one slapped but foul down the line and left off the end of the bat from Downs who got all of that one like a change up that time from Holman took a lot off of the pitch and Downs is way out in front moves the count one and two two down runner at second LSU up three one. The pitch to Downs off the end of the bat this time behind us and out of play still one and two. LSU athletics would like to think it's team LSU corporate partners Cox McDonald's Our Lady of the Lake Albertsons Coca Cola People's Health and Hancock Whitney. Three to one LSU leading Mississippi State runner at second for the Bulldogs Downs at the plate Holman on the mound now Luke will step off and look back the runner at second. The pitch. Miss low and away. Pretty good one two pitch. Better eye at the plate by Downs to stay away. That was a hard break to the left side of the batter's box. Downs is starting just his fifth game of the season for Mississippi State. The pitch. In the air to right center field. Going to drop down in front of Kling. They'll send the runner in easily from third. Downs will score, or rather, Hyzak will score. Downs delivers the RBI single to right, and it cuts the lead three to two. Although he has a limited number of at bats this season, Downs comes through in a big situation for the Bulldogs, delivering an unearned run and narrowing this deficit to just one run now. The time here is. Checking on the base runner downs. He's getting rid of all of his hitting gear to get his running gear on. Cuts the lead for the Tigers to one, three to two. We'll bring Kohler to the plate. He was caught looking by Holman. Just the second earned run given up by Holman on the season. You knew us SEC competition was going to. Step up quite a bit, and that's what Jay Johnson told me in the dugout before the game. He said the message to the team was, "We're stepping up in competition, and we're on the road in the SEC, and that means you're going to take some punches. That's how you handle that." And obviously, Holman giving up his first two earned runs of the season. We'll see how he fights back as that pitch missed low and inside, make it one and zero to Kohler. And though they've struggled the past couple of seasons, Mississippi State still has a. Extremely talented ball club. Jay Johnson made that very clear in discussing this series. Runner at first and the pitch fastball high. Two balls, no strikes. This series matches two of the past three national champions in LSU and Mississippi State. 2 0 pitch. Uh, speed upstairs, high and tight that time to Kohler. And now 3 0. 
Michigan. That's one of the things Holman has done a great job of this year, and that's avoiding three passes. But 3 0. Missed inside with a fastball. That'll put runners first and second now. Time going to be called. Jay Johnson on his way out asking for time. He'll be granted time as he'll bring the infield in along with Brady Neal and talk it over here with Holman. Tigers holding on to a 3 2 lead. Looks like and the was... leadoff man got aboard with a single. Tigers missed on an opportunity for a double play. Allowed Isaac to reach to second base and then Downs with single to right center to bring in the second run for the Bulldogs. And now with Kohler walked, runners first and second, still two outs. They've got Long coming to the plate, grounds it out to Milam, or check that, grounds it out to the catcher, Brady Neal, on a swinging bunt in front of the plate last time. And when Jay walked out to the mound, the Tiger bullpen started getting busy. Gavin Gidry is down there beginning to stretch. Looks like Nate Ackenhausen as well. So long awaits and swing and a miss on a slider from Holman. Puts him behind nothing and one. The 0 1, another slider. This one, another hard break away from the right hander. Swing and a miss. It gets ahead, nothing and two. This will be his 65th pitch of the game. This one staying away. Missed outside and low. Ball one, one and two to Johnny Long. Again, batting 192 coming into the game. 185 is current average. With that swinging bunt in front of the plate back in the second. Runners take their lead, first and second. Breaking ball, ground ball, backhanded by White at third. He'll step on the bag for out number three. That one dancing down the chalk at third. Hopped over the third base bag and a nifty backhand pick by Tommy White. Great defensive play ends it for the Bulldogs. They do get one run. They do it on two hits, one error committed by the Tigers, and the Bulldogs leave two men on. We move now to the top of the fourth. It's a 3-2 LSU lead. Back after this on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Hey, Tiger fans. This is Josh Smith. Heat and humidity can really take their toll on athletic performance, especially here in Louisiana. Beat the heat with the Tiger Air Zephyr, a rechargeable clip-on cooling fan that uses our revolutionary air accelerator technology. Now you can stay cool whether you're playing, working, or watching the Tigers at the box. Make sure to get yours today at TigerAir.com. That's Tiger Air, A I R E dot com. That's Tiger Air, A I R E dot com. What does it mean to be the best? How do you achieve success? For our Lady of the Lake Health and LSU, we do it by working as a team. We achieve greatness together. Our partnership means student athletes get the best care so they can perform their best and be there for the team. Our Lady of the Lake Health and LSU. Together, we roar. Baton Rouge isn't just the capital of Louisiana. It's the capital of college baseball. The fans, the players, the entire atmosphere. When it comes to baseball season, there's no better place than Baton Rouge. And the fun extends beyond the box with plenty to do off campus. Explore some of Baton Rouge's best fights. Visit our incredible museums the sweet sounds of swamp blues born right here in louisiana's capital city check out visitbatonrouge.com for more things to do on your next trip this is lsu fighting tiger baseball on the lsu sports radio network lsu comes to the plate leading 3-2 over mississippi state here in game one on this friday night Tigers have six, seven, and eight, two up. Brady Neal will lead it off. First pitch offered up by Sierra. Misses outside, and it's 1-0. 1-0 oh. oh delivery. Just missed again. Same spot. Two balls, no strikes to Brady Neal. Flied out deep to center field, and Connor Heizak, his first time up in the second. Neal batting from the left side. The pitch from the right-hander. Low it inside. 
That'll make it three balls, no strikes quickly here. It'll be Neal followed by Braswell and Kling. That one missed outside, so no strikes at all from Sierra on that at bat. We'll put Neal with a leadoff walk. Bring Braswell to the plate. The Tigers got down early, 1 0. After two innings, top of the third, they played at three. Mississippi State would get one more just moments ago in the bottom of the third. One run game here, 3 2. It's Braswell, flight out to left field. Hit it hard, but hung up in left field. His first time up. Off speed, misses low from Sierra. That'll make it 1 0 to Braswell. Again, this is Sierra's longest outing of the year. Three innings of work. His previous high was just two innings. Neal with the lead off first. Sierra working from the stretch. The pitch to the plate. Look out. Spins Braswell out of the way. That one very much in on the hands. Time going to be called. Johnny Long going to go out the catcher and visit with Sierra. Wow, red skies at night. Bill, you know what that means tomorrow. I don't. Is it good? <laughs> it is good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> red skies at night, a sailor's delight. Ah, wonderful. So we should have beautiful weather yeah, on tap. It's supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow, too. Oh, it's very comfortable here right now. It really is. About 64 degrees. Again, light breeze, but not heavy wind. Showing bunt, the pitch. He'll bring it back, and it's inside and high. Again, Braswell spinning out of the way. That'll move the count to three balls, no strikes. So now Sierra is still trying to find the strike zone. He walked Neal on four straight pitches. Again, Braswell squares. Pitch high and inside. That's eight straight balls offered up by Sierra. We'll put runners first and second here. The Tigers really, Bill, haven't had to take the bat off the shoulder, even though Braswell tried to lay down a bunt. Sierra definitely having struggles with the strike zone as he enters his fourth inning of work. Again, there appears to be no action in the Mississippi State bullpen. But now here comes Justin Parker. He's the Mississippi State pitching coach. He'll make a slow walk out of the third base dugout toward the mound to talk to Sierra. Again, our view of the bullpen down the left field line is mostly obscured. It, again, it doesn't appear as if there's anyone throwing, but we can't tell for sure. I see some youngsters leaning over the fence as if they're yeah. watching Maybe somebody so. possibly stretching. Looks like there's some autograph seekers there, a couple of <laughs> 12, 13 year olds. So their their attention is on something, but it's out of our view here, as Bill mentioned down the line and left. And maybe that's just a couple of players starting to get yep. loose down there. Well, it looks like he didn't make a call, so someone must wow. be. Yep. They are making a call. Evan Sierra going to be done here in the top of the fourth inning. After two straight walks, the Tigers lead three to two. Pitching change powered by your hometown John Deere dealer in Sunshine. We'll tell you about the new Bulldog pitcher when we come back. LSU leads by a run three to two. Runners first and second. Nobody out here in the top of the fourth on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Looking for a champion on the field? Look no further than Sunshine. Your hometown John Deere dealer in Louisiana. With our help, you can always come out on top. Take advantage of our home run offers on tractor packages, including the unbeatable 0% financing. To learn more and get financed, visit us at sunnyquip.com. Choose sunshine and choose victory. Support your LSU Tigers with Hancock Whitney, the official bank of LSU athletics. From game day to the offseason, Hancock Whitney LSU credit and debit cards are a big win for any Tiger fan. Want to get your paws on these cards? Well, apply online or visit HancockWhitney.com slash LSU. Hancock Whitney Bank, member FDIC. All accounts subject to credit approval. Terms and conditions may apply. What does it mean to be the best? How do you achieve success? For our Lady of the Lake Health and LSU, we do it by working as a team. We achieve greatness together. Our partnership means student-athletes get the best care so they can perform their best and be there for the team. 
Our Lady of the Lake Health and LSU. Together, we roar. All right, coming back. Live coverage of LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball continues on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Mississippi State making a change on the mound. Nolan Stevens going to take over. Multi-position player here for Coach Lamonis and the Bulldogs as Evan Sierra's night is done. LSU leading 3-2, to two, but... Two batters, back-to-back, -back, eight straight balls. Two base on balls. Coach Lamonis deciding, let's go to the bullpen, so he'll hand the baseball over Bill to Nolan Stevens. Nolan Stevens, a versatile ball player. He's a true freshman listed as an infielder, outfielder, and left-handed pitcher. He's 6'3", 210 pounds, true freshman lefty from Elk Grove, California. He's got some nice numbers as he begins his Mississippi State career. Uh, so far for the Bulldogs, Stevens has made five appearances all in relief. He's 1-0, an ERA of 2.00 in nine innings. He's given up just two runs on seven hits, no walks, 11 strikeouts, allowing opponents just a 2.06 batting average. He has given up one home run on the year. So he'll face Paxton Kling. Fly out to right field, his first at bat in the third inning. Paxton has runners first and second, nobody out. First pitch from Stevens, swatted high in the air, but shallow center field. Coming in, three Bulldogs converging. It will be Hyzak, the center fielder. Made the call, everybody else yields, and he makes the play for out number one, Kling retired. Now comes Pearson. He got things started for LSU. Solo shot to right center field in the third inning, his fourth home run of the year. Tied the game up at one all, but started off a huge inning there in the top of the third. Tommy White would follow suit with a two run blast to right center. Runners first and second. First pitch to Pearson, low and outside, blocked up by Long, the catcher, and it's 1 0. Lefty lefty matchup now, Stevens versus Josh Pearson. Josh. Just two for 13 on the year, 154 average against lefties. Neal at second, Braswell at first. Again, just one out. Pitch to Pearson. Fastball out of half, called strike. Surprised Josh a bit. Just evens the count, one and one. Stevens, the left-hander, looks back to second. Now the pitch, Pearson, ground ball, three hopper to second, picked up by Mershon, gets it to Cup, the relay to first, not in time. Hustling down the line was Pearson, so they get Braswell at second. Pearson will remain aboard, and of course, Neal scoots on into third base. So both teams, Bill, trying to turn the double play. That time, Pearson just beat it out. It was a good throw from Cup. Maybe didn't have enough on the ground ball to turn two. Great athleticism displayed by Josh Pearson there to hustle down the line and keep this inning alive. Bingham came in to score after a base hit in the third. Stands in, he's one for two on the night. Pitch from the left-hander, strike on the inner half, and it's 0-1. A very busy scoreboard here at Duty Noble. A lot of information up on the board. The 0 1. That one missed a little high and outside. Scouting report on Stevens says he has a very live arm, especially for a lefty, 92 to 95 with his fastball. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Half-hearted swing, didn't matter. It was a called strike at the knees. Bingham now behind in the count, one and two. Two gone, runners first and third. LSU leading three to two and love to get at least one more run here. It's up to Mac Bingham, the left fielder for the Tigers. Behind in the count, one ball, two strikes. Nolan Stevens winds and fires, and it's a swing and a miss. It'll be picked up by Long, who dropped the baseball, but he'll throw the first for good measure. And the Tigers are done. No runs, no hits. They waste two walks to start the inning. 
They leave two men on. It's a 3-2 LSU lead. Bottom of the order. Nine and top of the order, one and two do up for the Bulldogs when we return as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Unrivaled content, unprecedented access. LSU Gold, powered by Bayou Traditions, is the only place for exclusive behind-the-scenes content featuring your favorite LSU teams. It's all access to the Tigers all year long. From pregame warm-ups to post-game celebrations and every moment in between. You can watch LSU Gold anywhere, anytime, and on your favorite device. Go to LSU.gold today to sign up for your free seven-day trial so you can be there for each step of LSU's championship journeys. That's LSU.gold. The SEC is more than the Southeastern Conference. It's the Saturday Electrifying Conference, the Sunday Elite Conference, the Stadium Erupting Conference, the Stunning Eyeballs Conference, the Superbly Entertaining Conference, the Storied Enduring Conference, and more often than not, the See You Later Everyone Else Conference. This is the SEC, where it just means more. fans have you ever wanted to watch lsu baseball on tv but hear the action from the lsu sports radio network just sync the game with the lsu sports mobile app it's easy to do just pause the tv use the lsu sports mobile app to stream the audio on your smartphone or tablet connect to a smart speaker then wait for the audio to catch up to the point your tv is paused push play and you are all set sync the game with the lsu sports mobile app for ios and google devices download it today tigers win tigers win coverage of LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball continues we go. on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Dylan Kopp will lead it off for Mississippi State. They trail LSU 3-2 as Holman delivers a first pitch bender for a strike and it's 0-1. Kopp at the bottom of the order. Had a base hit in the second inning. Another breaking ball. Ooh, not sure where that missed. Maybe a bit low. Evens account one and one. Cup batting 259 in the nine spot. Holman's 1-1 one, one pitch. Ground ball sharply hit to Braswell, but right at him. He'll scoop it up, throw to first, brings Jones off the bag, but he applies the tag for out number one. Nice work there by Jared Jones coming up the line to field the throw from Braswell and applies the tag to Cup. First time in this game that Holman has retired the leadoff hitter. So that's a good sign for the Tiger right-hander. So to the top of the order, this is where Holman's had trouble, but so have a lot of pitchers so far this year, and that's with the top three in this order. Monty Larry, two for two. Couple of singles, has driven in a run. First pitch, swings, pops it up, foul territory, first base side. Jones with room on the track, and he'll have it. For out number two as the air mails that throw to second base over the head of Braswell, <laughs> but the out is secured just right of first base in foul territory. So that records the second out, and Luke Holman retires Amani Larry Bill for the first time. Definitely things are trending the right way so far in this inning for Luke Holman. He's at 70 pitches. And a nice efficient clean inning would be great right now. David Mershon, a left-hander. 0 for 2 on the night, and the first pitch a fastball in and low. Scoots him off the plate. One ball, no strikes. Mershon flied out to left to Bingham in the first, and was a strikeout victim. Caught looking to Holman. One of three tonight for the Tiger right-hander. The 1-0 one -oh to the plate. That's a called strike to even it up, 1-1. One and one. Big at bat here for Holman. Mershon is a tough out, and he's got... One of the best hitters in the SEC hitting behind him. The 1-1 one -one pitch, fastball, ground ball to Jones at first. Nice job. He will toss to Holman, covering at the bag in time for out number three. So nice work done by Holman and the defense. Three up, three down go the Bulldogs. We now move to the top of the fifth inning. Tigers hold a one-run lead, three to two. It'll be two, three, and four due up. White, Milam, and Jones when we continue on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Tiger fans, there's nothing quite like game day at the box. To add to the excitement at the ballpark, your defending national champions invite you to enjoy our all B 44 Farms Tiger Dogs. The finest dogs in the land because they are made of all natural Angus beef. 
To learn more, please visit them at 44stakes.com. That's 44stakes.com. 44 Farms, proud partner of LSU Athletics. NIL is dominating the college sports scene, and LSU has positioned itself at the front of the pack. But to remain competitive and stay ahead of the rest, we need your support. Bayou Traditions is the official NIL collective of LSU Athletics. Join the tradition and become a member by signing up online at BayouTraditionsCollective.com. Members receive exclusive access to LSU student-athletes that you can't get anywhere else. Help ensure LSU remains a leader in the NIL arena. Sign up today at BayouTraditionsCollective.com. Albertsons is making shopping and saving easier than ever. Check out Albertsons for You in our mobile app where you can shop for groceries and save weekly with digital coupons all in one place. With Albertsons for You, you can earn rewards points every time you shop and redeem them for free groceries. Brand new Albertsons for You members receive $5 off their next $25 purchase just for signing up. Download the Albertsons app or go to Albertsons.com to sign up. Albertsons, fresh food, Coming local back. flavors. LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball lives here. The LSU Sports Radio Network. LSU leading 3-2 over Mississippi State on what has turned into a really gorgeous Friday evening. LSU coming to the plate. Tommy White to lead it off. It'll be White, Milam, and Jones due up. Nolan Stevens in relief as the pitcher for the Bulldogs delivers and a slow bouncer foul down the third base line off the bat of Tommy White. He flied out to right field in the first inning. But the yard could not hold it in the third had a two run bomb to right field for his third home run of the year. Here's the 0 1 outside with a fastball. One ball and one strike. We'll get you up to date on other SEC baseball action as opening weekend and conference play is underway. Here's the 1 1 inside and lows. Tommy dances his way out of the way. In Lexington tonight, Kentucky leads Georgia 6 to 5. And in Gainesville, Florida leads Texas A&M 7 to 6. That's in the seventh inning. Pitch to White. Strike on the outer half, letter high. Even the count 2 and 2. Georgia and Kentucky are playing in the sixth inning with Kentucky holding that 6 5 lead. They're just underway in Tuscaloosa. First inning score Alabama leads Tennessee 2 to 1. This one a check swing foul out of play over the lights right side. Still 2 and 2. Other action around the league. They're playing in Nashville right now. Vanderbilt in the fifth inning leads Auburn 5 to 1. Tommy White at the plate. Nolan Stevens fires the 2 2. Foul back at us. Thankfully, his screen is there. Keeps the count two balls, two strikes. Big upset today in Nashville. Mississippi State just slaughtered Tennessee. There's the swing. And it just missed inside. Good eye by White. That game really wasn't close. Tennessee bounced out of Nashville. Of course, they'll await the NCAA bracket coming out on Selection Sunday. Here's a ground ball. Rook to the shortstop cup. He will pump, throw to first in time. And White retired. First out of the inning. Texas A&M right now in Nashville in a tight one, but leading Kentucky, I believe, at last check by five in the SEC basketball tournament. In the second game of the day, Auburn blew out South Carolina again. But I tell you what, South Carolina does not match up well with no. Auburn. Auburn no. beat them by 40 in the regular season. And today, Auburn beat South Carolina by 31 at the SEC tournament. That'll bring to the plate Stephen Milam. So against the left-hander, he'll switch and bat right. First pitch sent high in the air, foul territory. We mentioned that the pitcher, as that one's out of play, Nolan Stevens came in relief and is on the bump right now. It's a freshman from Elk Grove, California, as Bill told you. Plays infield, plays outfield, and comes out of the bullpen, and as soon as that ball went up in the air, the only Bulldog sprinting <laughs> to foul territory was the pitcher. He forgot he's supposed to stay on the mound. He was going to make a play. Pitch to Milam. Outside. One ball, one strike. 
Here's the rest of your SEC baseball scores. They've moved to the third inning in Oxford. South Carolina leads Ole Miss 2-1. to one. They're in the fourth inning in Fayetteville. Arkansas leads Missouri 5 nothing. Pitch to Milam. The fastball at the knees. Nicely done by the freshman Stevens. Gets him ahead one and two. Milam today grounded out to second. Flied out to right field his last time up in the third. One away. Top of the fifth, 3 2 LSU leading Mississippi State. Milam swings and misses at a breaking ball. In on the right hander. Stevens records his second punch out in relief. Stevens has been very impressive so far. He's retired all five hitters that he's faced. That'll bring Jared Jones, who's one for two today, had a double back in the third. Fifth double of the year for the sophomore. Waits on the first pitch. Strike on the outside corner right at the letters, and it's 0 1. The 0 1 delivery. Hammered but foul. A mile high and out of play towards the parking lots near the hump. Jones showing the arm strength to go opposite field. Nobody will get that as a souvenir until later tonight when they're going to their car. 0 oh 2 the count, the pitch. Good 0 2 pitch inside on the hands, but misses for ball one. Stevens has played right field and left field so far this season for the Bulldogs, along with. Being a relief pitcher. The one two swing and a miss. Third strikeout for Stevens the freshman left hander. The Tigers go quietly here in the top of the fifth inning. No runs no hits nobody on base. They still lead Mississippi State three to two. Head to the bottom of the fifth when we return on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must try for any sports fan. So make sure you. Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm. <sighs> best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. BRQ Seafood and Barbecue is a home run for flavor, excitement, and an unforgettable experience. Savor our daily specials or indulge in our brunch every Saturday and Sunday. Special occasion, opt for BRQ to cater your event or host your gathering on our outdoor patio, the backyard, now open daily. As the official catering service of LSU Athletics, we are the top choice for your game-winning celebrations and special events. Visit our website at brqrestaurant.com to explore our daily specials and catering options or to reserve your table. Come experience BRQ Seafood and Barbecue, where unforgettable moments await both on and off the diamond. Will Scott Mobile Mini is the global leader in modular offices and storage containers. Keep your products safe and secure with our wide array of vault-like storage containers. Need shelves and lighting for your container? We can help. We have the right container for your industrial, commercial, or residential storage needs. All of our offices are delivered ready to work with customizable furniture options to fit any need. Give us a call at 800-841-7016 or visit our website at www.mobilemini.com. Home of the reigning champion LSU Fighting Tigers. This is the LSU Sports Radio Network. Bottom of the fifth inning, Mississippi State comes to the plate. LSU leading 3-2. Dakota Jordan to lead it off in the first pitch. Called strike from Holman. Luke Holman beginning his fifth inning of work. Seven hits, two runs, one earned, one walk, three strikeouts. Pitch to Jordan off the end of the bat. Foul and out of play right side. Jordan again in that three spot. Two for two. A couple of singles on the night in the first and in the third. Last time Holman the last inning able to retire Larry for the first time atop the order. Let's see if he can do the same with Jordan. The one one upstairs missing ball two two and one. Tigers initially were playing the shift against Jordan but after he got down 0 2 Milam now is back at a normal second base position. 
One ball, two strikes. Holman's pitch to the plate. Outside in the dirt. It's away from Brady Neal. And evens account two and two. He tried the hard curve and that one a little too far outside. Jordan read it quickly, stayed away. Evens account. Holman at 77 pitches right now. His season high is 97. Two-two pitch. Right back up the middle, got by Holman, but a two-bouncer handled by Milam, who will throw to first. Beats the speedy Jordan to the bag for out number one. And look, Luke Holman just kind of had a dance out of the way. I think that may have went right between his legs. If not, just barely missed him, but a great concentration again. Boy, this monster Milam is some type of impressive as a true freshman out there on the infield. He really is. He just he, he just looks the part. He, small in stature, but boy, he, he has a big time presence on the field. Hunter Hines now, a left hander, will stand in. He swings at the first pitch and bounces it into the Tiger dugout. And it's 0 and 1. Coming up tomorrow, LSU softball will have their second SEC series of the season. First home SEC series. 23 and 0, Beth Torina and company. They'll host Ole Miss. First pitch scheduled for 12 noon at Tiger Park as Hines rips into this one and it will get out of here in a hurry. Hines with a home run to right field, his second of the year, and we are tied at three all. Holman gives up his first home run of the season. Second earned run of the season. And Hines gets the crowd on their feet. Here is Duty Noble. Well, the Tigers had a couple of no-doubters. That was absolutely a no-doubter off the bat of Hines. Uh, Josh Pearson didn't even have to turn around and look. He, you could tell it was out the minute or the second left. Hines is back. Eighth hit of the night for the Bulldogs. They've tied it up. And with one out, Isaac, the center fielder, 0 for 2. Did reach base as the first pitch high and inside for ball one. Got a board on a fielder's choice and scored a run in the third to make it a 3 2 ball game. 16 home runs now for Mississippi State this season. A 1 0 from Holman. Breaking ball, a strike in at the belt. One ball, one strike. One thing I've noticed over the years coming here to Starkville Mississippi State fans, you can take it to the bank, Bill. They do not like strikes on the outside or inside corner. <laughs> Called. That one swung on and fouled back into the screen. Isaac now. Falls behind in the count one and two. No. I mean, you can take it absolutely to the bank. If it's a called strike on the inside corner, <laughs> outside corner, the boo birds are coming out. Not very nuanced in their appreciation <laughs> of the strike zone. Here's the one two from Holman to the plate. Ground ball. Braswell got a backhand pick, throws across his body, but no chance to get Isaac speeding down the first base line. Credit to Braswell to keep it in the infield. Went a long way with a backhand to get it. And had to leap throw over his body, but no chance. The speedy center fielder is there. Infield single with one out. That will bring to the plate Aaron Downs, who also sitting in the six hole tonight is two for two, the junior right-handed hitter. Base hit and scored in the second, drove in a run with a base hit in the third. Runner at first, leaning, and they throw over and just getting back. Great move, one of the things Maybe we've overlooked from Holman with his strikeouts and his ability to control the bats of opponents this year is he's got a very good move for a right hander to first. Pitch to the plate. Down stays away and it misses outside for ball one. Now the one thing we haven't seen a lot of speaking of the word nuance is Holman kind of used that nuance where sometimes he has a slower move. We usually see the quick move. Right out of the gate. Here's another ground ball. Could be a tough one. Tommy White going to field it. Throw to second. Milam's relay not in time. Tigers trying for the 5-4-3 twin killing, but beating it out is Downs at first. They'll get the lead runner in Isaac at second for the second out of the inning. Well, that was a great play by White going really to was. his left. Braswell would have again had to go deep in the hole with a backhand and probably had to put that ball in his pocket. At least LSU comes away recording the second out of the inning. That's the second. Really a nice play by Tommy White at third base. He has come a long way as an infielder. 
That brings Logan Kohler, the third baseman for the Bulldogs, to the plate with a runner on and two down. Again, quick throw over. This time down, slides on his belly back to the bag. Now it looks like home plate umpire Derek Malika came out. Did he call a? I think they yeah. called a ball for a clock violation. They did. Wow, that seemed to move quick. I wasn't watching the pitch clock, but didn't seem out of the ordinary. Still a runner at first, now a 1 0 count. The pitch, this is a base hit into left field. Bingham going to have to go deep to get it. And now mishandles it, gets by him all the way to the wall. That will allow Downs to go around third, come in to score. Mississippi State takes a 4 3 lead. Well, that was hit not quite in the alley, but close enough that you knew Bingham was going to have trouble getting to it early tried to reach out with a glove and it got right by him all the way to the wall cling had to pick it up by that time downs was trotting slowly into home plate that's the ninth make that excuse me tenth hit of the game for Mississippi State Kohler singles to left have a fielding error assessed to the Tigers that's their second of the game and now Jay Johnson on his way out to the mound the slow walk by the Tigers skipper He's got Gavin Gidry ready in the bullpen. Looks like Jay will make the move, but he'll take his time though. Speak to Luke for a little while and then likely go to Gavin. So another unearned run, the second of the night. After the mishandling of the ball in left field by Bingham. And they will make a call. So the Tigers make a pitching change powered by your hometown John Deere dealer. Sunshine Mississippi State back on top they lead four to three here in the bottom of the fifth still a runner at second two gone is Gavin Gidry looks to get the Tigers back inside the dugout when we continue on the LSU Sports Radio Network it's good to be able to make a change to never feel stuck that's why at Cox we're making a change too now Cox internet plans are flexible so you can choose to just go with internet add TV tomorrow or home automation down the line it's easier than ever to get just what you want and nothing you don't flexible plans from Cox change anytime no commitments no penalties see for yourself at cox.com slash internet additional services can be added at then current regular rates all services subject to residential customer service agreement and acceptable use policy restrictions apply Back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must try for any sports fan. So make sure you. Wait, Jim, I didn't want to try it right now. We're still in the air. Mmm. <sighs> best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jim. Really? No, not right now, Jim. We got a game to call. Looking for a champion on the field? Look no further than Sunshine, your hometown John Deere dealer in Louisiana. With our help, you can always come out on top. Take advantage of our home run offers on tractor packages, including the unbeatable 0% financing. To learn more and get financed, visit us at sunnyquip.com. Choose Sunshine and choose victory. Home of the reigning champion LSU Fighting Tigers. This is the LSU Sports Radio Network. Mississippi State, two runs on three hits. One costly error by the Tigers here in the bottom of the fifth inning. But the Bulldogs back on top, four to three. The Tigers make a change on the mound. It'll be Gavin Gidry, the sophomore right hander, coming in. Two outs in the inning. Runner at second for the Bulldogs. It'll be Johnny Long, the catcher, coming to the plate. Long so far tonight, 0 for 2, a ground out. Did reach on a fielder's choice back in the third. As Gidry steps on the bump for LSU. Kohler down at second. Gidry kicks and fires short of the plate. Blocked up by Brady Neal nicely. It's 1 and 0. Gavin Gidry, the sophomore right-hander from Lake Charles, Louisiana, making for the Tigers his eighth appearance of the year. He's 1-0 with a 1.35 ERA. The 1-0 delivery. Swing and a miss. Evens it up. One ball, one strike. 
Kidry has worked six and two thirds innings. He's given up one run on six hits, three walks, and nine strikeouts for the right hander. The 1 1. Blow it inside, make it 2 and 1 now. To Johnny Long. Batting 179 on the year. Like to be able to get Long out, finish this inning up. Cup in the 9 spot is 1 for 2 so far tonight. He stands on deck. Runner at second. 2 1 pitch, swing and a miss. Found the hole in the bat that time for Long. Evens a count two and two. Four three Mississippi State leads. A breaking ball and a swing and a base hit to left center field. That's going to score Kohler. That'll extend the Bulldog lead five to three as Long. Drives in just his fourth run of the season. It's the base hit up the middle. I credit Mississippi State. This club has got off to a very slow start this season. It was just three and four after seven games, but they have. Definitely found their stride winners in 10 of their last 11, and they're really swinging the bat well tonight. Dylan Cup awaits, and the pitch missed inside. Ball one from Gidry. Cup, as I told you, one for two in the nine spot. Batting 254 on the year, had a single left strand in the second. Grounded out on a great play by Braswell back in the fourth. This pitch from Gidry misses low, and it's now 2 0. Oh. Mississippi State. Down a run coming into the bottom of the fifth. Three runs on four hits, one error by the Tigers, their second of the night. The pitch off speed across the plate, make it two and one. Looks like the Tigers have lefty Justin Lord just beginning to toss in the LSU pin. Gidry kicks and fires. Look out, gonna hit him right in the helmet. Down to the ground goes Cup. Took it right in the helmet. He is still down as they will bring the training crew out to take a look at him. That was a heater from Gidry that just got loose, got him right in the side of the helmet. He's up on one knee now, talking to the trainer. Ooh, scary incident watching that on replay. Nope, he hops up. Now he's going to sprint his way to first base. A well, good sign there. Now we'll put runners first and second now. Still two outs, and the inning continues. And unfortunately for the Tigers, it brings the Bulldogs to the top of the order. Gavin Gidry will have to face Amani Larry, who's two for three tonight. A base hit left stranded in the first, drove in a run with a single in the second. Popped out foul territory to Jones at first base last time in the fourth. 5-3 Mississippi State leading. Gidry's pitch. Fastball across the plate at the knees. 0-1. Long with the RBI single at second. Cup hit by a pitch at first. Two down. Larry awaits. Gidry fires. Swing and a miss. Throw down to second. Nobody was at home, but a big lead by Long, and he just got back. Milam was playing behind the bag, but a good 10, 12, 15 feet away. Brady Neal snapped through it across the diamond. The back safely is Long. It's still 0-2, and, and now time called. Looks like Larry had something in his eye as he Backed away from the plate. Looks like he's okay, though. He'll stand back in. Runners first and second. Two outs. Gidry. Glances back to second. Now the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with a breaking ball, dropping off the table. Larry down on strikes. Gidry records his first strikeout in relief, but Mississippi State plates three runs on four hits, one air by the Tigers. Bulldogs leave two men on. They lead LSU 5-3. Back to Starkville after this on the LSU Sports Radio Network. 
Ridgeway Hospice, the official hospice of LSU Athletics, is the champion's choice for hospice care in South Louisiana. With over 10 years of excellence and experience, Ridgeway has three locations to serve you and your loved ones. Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and Plaquemine. Ask for Bridgeway Hospice by name. Your champion's choice in comfort and compassionate care. Bridgeway Hospice says, Go Tigers! Looking to make your next corporate event, church festival, or school field day the best one yet? Well, look no further than Grayson's Events and Entertainment. They have it all, from carnival rides to mechanical bulls, inflatables, and much more. They truly are your one-stop shop for all your party and event rental needs. Give them a call at 225-436-6520 and use promo code RADIO25 on your next order at Grayson's Events Entertainment.com. Louisiana's best event specialist. You won't be disappointed. Hey, Tiger fans, no game day is complete without Noel Spirits from Noel Family Distillery. Founded by a father-daughter duo, Noel Family Distillery is the only Louisiana distillery offering authentic tequila. Their additive-free tequila captures the spirit of Louisiana, creating a spirits experience worthy of the Tigers and their loyal fans across the country. Noel Tequila is proud to be the official tequila of LSU Athletics. Enjoy Noel Tequila Back after at the this. box or grab a bottle of your own at many fine retailers. Learn the unique Noel Distillery story at noeldistillery.com. This is LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball on the LSU Sports Radio Network. LSU comes to the plate. Top of the sixth inning. They trail Mississippi State now 5-3. to three. Travinsky to lead it off. And the first pitch. Breaking ball for a strike. Again, Bill, you mentioned it. LSU had success off the starter Evan Sierra and since the relief appearance of Nolan Stevens the bats have quieted down for the Tigers as that one misses high it's one ball one strike. Oh, what a SEC debut for this freshman lefty for Mississippi State he's been dominant so far. The one one fastball missed outside not by much good eye by Travinsky. Again a pitch to the right hander he can't do much with. He's pitched two perfect innings so far through just 24 pitches entering his third inning of work. 2-1 to Hayden. Breaking ball. That went in for a strike. Good mix of pitches here for the freshman. Evens a count. Two balls, two strikes to Travinsky, who on the day, one for two at the plate for the Tigers. 2-2, two -two, swing and a miss. Got him with a breaking ball to the right-hander. Stevens records his fourth punch out. Quickly one gone here in the top of the sixth inning. Fans enjoy the best barbecue at TJ Ribs. Official barbecue restaurant of LSU Athletics. Proud host of the LSU head coaches shows located on Acadian Thruway. Visit TJRibs.com and place your order. We'll see Brady Neal. Lefty on lefty in the first pitch of fastball in. And misses for ball one. Seven in a row now retired by Stevens. Tigers three runs on five hits. This one sails away. Neal stays away. And it's 2 0. Oh. Tigers have committed two errors in the field. Setting up outside is long. The pitch inside for a strike. And now, with a 2 1 count, they'll move Logan Kohler, the third baseman. He will come across the diamond, work just right of second base. They'll put David Mershon fairly deep, about 20 feet in right field. As Neal swings, pops it up. Tried to lay back on that one, fouls it out of play over the third base dugout. That'll even the count, two and two. Stevens, up to this point, definitely delivering his best appearance of the year. His longest outing. Is two and two thirds innings. That was in a non conference game against Jackson State. 2 2 delivery. Look out. Just barely missed Brady Neal as he spins inward away from the pitch. Fill it up here. For Neal, unless you're looking to get runners aboard and get some contact against Nolan Stevens. Payoff pitch, ground ball, to bounce to first base, handled by Hines. Couple of steps, he's on the back, second out. Yeah. 
So with two down that will bring Michael Braswell the third to the plate. 0 for one did reach base on a walk in the fourth inning. That was again when Sierra got a little wild and walked two batters back to back. But LSU unable to make hay with it. Left both of those runners stranded. Pitch to Braswell off speed a strike at the belt and it's 0 and 1. And that's when Stevens entered the game after that walk to Braswell first and second nobody out in the fourth and Stevens got three quick outs and ended the threat and LSU hasn't mounted any offense since then. Infield playing straight up to the right handed hitter Braswell. Stevens fires that fastball upstairs. One ball and one strike. Fans remember when the Tigers win, you win. Enter promo code LSU50. The day after an LSU baseball victory, you'll receive 50% off your online pizza order at PapaJohns.com. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa Johns. Here's a sharply hit ground ball, but a bouncer to cup the shortstop. Throw is high, airmails it into the first base dugout of the Tigers. And Braswell will remain safe and be granted. I believe second base. Let's see. He's, Braswell was headed back to first base, but the first base umpire, Ronnie Teague, allowing him to get off the batting gloves, and now he'll head to second base. So it will put the Tigers with a runner in scoring position here on the miscue by Cup. Kind of a relay run of the mill ground ball. Again, Cup going to his left, but you could see as soon as he released it, no chance for Hunter Hines to climb the ladder and get that one. So a break for LSU. First delivery now to cling is a called strike. Paxton 0 for 2. Again, we know what he can do potentially yeah. with the bat, just trying to get out of a little bit of a slump here to start the season. As we mentioned, he's been up and down the lineup. Here's a swing out of play behind us. Balls behind in the count, nothing and two. First error of the game for the Bulldogs. Allows Braswell safely to first and move over to second base. The Tigers trailing by two runs, five to three. Looking for some two out magic here, and it starts with sophomore Paxton Clay. He is really due. He's hitless in his last 13 at bats. Down on the count, nothing and two. Stevens to the plate. Look out, got away from Long all the way to the backstop and Braswell will get a free pass into third. On the wild pitch from Nolan Stevens. So now a potential run just 90 feet away for LSU. Paxton Kling can find a way to arrive safely at first base. Again, Josh Pearson on deck. But with two down, the Tigers have to find a way to extend this inning. Under the lights here in Starkville. Bulldogs plating three runs. The bottom half of the fifth inning to regain the lead. Pitch to Kling, swing and a miss. It got away from Long. Paxton didn't realize it, and now an easy throw to first. Paxton Kling, big mistake there, and that'll be a teaching moment for Coach Jay Johnson. Not sure if he would have been able to make it, but the baseball got away from Long, well outside the batter's area. But nonetheless, that'll do it for the Tigers. They threaten, but come up empty. They get no runs, no hits, one man left on, one error committed by the Bulldogs, but. Mississippi State leads five to three as we head to the bottom of the fifth here on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Tiger fans, this is Eddie Kennison, former LSU football wide receiver. If you know me, you know I'm all about making big plays. Tigers win! Tigers win! That's why I joined the team at LSU Sports Properties. Our goal here is to help businesses make big plays both on and off the field. If you want to give your brand that competitive edge and be a part of the biggest stage in college sports, give the corporate sponsorship team at LSU Athletics a call. Your brand, our fans. Utilize the power of LSU Athletics to promote your business and sponsor LSU Athletics today. Call 225-578-2788. Go Tigers. Win are three letters more than three letters when they represent 14 storied universities, generations of tradition and unbridled passion, stadiums and arenas swelled with diehard fans, more than 260 national titles, thousands of All-Americans and hundreds of Olympians, and the one conference where every catch, shot, swing, and stride just means more. Hey, Tiger.
Tiger fans 12 and younger, don't miss your chance to be a part of Mike's Kids Club. Presented by Shell, the exclusive Kids Club of LSU Athletics. Join Mike's Kids Club for only $25. Get the official Mike's Kids Club t-shirt, free admission to select LSU athletic events, and much, much more. To learn about upcoming events and to join, please visit LSUMKC.com. The Mike's Kids Club, presented by Shell. All right, coming back. Live coverage of LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball continues on the LSU Sports Radio Network. We head to the bottom of the sixth inning in game one of this series. Before we continue, let's pause 10 seconds. Station identification. This is Fighting Tiger Baseball on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Along with our producer, Brian Haldane, Bill Frankes, Chris Blair with you here in Starkville. 5-3, Mississippi State leads. David Mershon will lead it off. 2-3 and 4 due up for the Bulldogs. Mershon 0 for 3. Looking at a 2-0 count here is Guidry. Fires, gets the breaking ball across for a strike, and it's 2-1. and one. Fans find out how you can build a better workday every day with Cintas. Visit Cintas.com. Get ready for the workday. The 2 1. Missed just low. Mershon stayed away. Works the count. Three balls, one strike. Mershon flat out to left in the first. Caught looking by Holman in the second inning. Pitch low, ball four. Gidry going to give up the walk. His first walk given up tonight. And the leadoff man for Mississippi State. Once again, Bill is aboard for the Bulldogs. Which has been one of their assets tonight offensively. Absolutely. Now four times in six innings they've had the leadoff man on. And now Gidry's really operating in a danger zone as he walks Mershon and facing one of the most dangerous hitters in the league right now in Dakota Jordan. Jordan two for three, couple of singles so far tonight. Mershon sizable leadoff first. Gidry fires in the fastball down the pike for a called strike one. Lefty Justin Lohr is uh, warming for the Tigers. Looks like Christian Little, the right-hander, also beginning to toss down there as well. Gidry working from the stretch. Merson, again, a large lead off of first. Now a turn and throw. And he's back safely as that one a little up the line at first. These are the final numbers on Luke Holman. Four and two-thirds innings. He's charged with five runs but only two earned on ten hits. He walked one and struck out three. Mershon, four for four in stolen bases. He's off and running. Neal's throw down to second. Short hop couldn't be handled by Milam. And I don't think the throw would have beat him. It's a great jump by Mershon. Now making five for five in stolen bases. He now leads the Bulldogs in stolen bags on the year. Mississippi State getting the leadoff man aboard, as Bill told you, four out of the six innings so far. Being aggressive here, they get Mershon in motion. He's at second base. One of the best hitters in all of SEC baseball. That's Dakota Jordan so far this year. Pitch from Gidry. Ground ball towards third. Charging in. Glove side is white. The throw to first. A bullet to Jones in time for the first out. Again, Jordan picking him up, setting him down that first base line. And White kind of had to go back on that one on the last high chop. But a good job by White, Bill. Again, his third. Yeah. Great play at third base really, tonight. Yeah, really, he has, uh, in, in a way, kept the Tigers in this game with three exceptional defensive plays. I'll leave Mershon at second. That ground ball to the left side of the infield. I'll bring up Hunter Hines, who smoked the ball to right field. His last time up in the fifth inning, the solo shot, his second of the year. Turn and throw, Gidry gets it to Braswell. Just getting back is Mershon at second base. Now time called, Jay Johnson coming out. We told you it looked like Lower was ready to go. Not sure on Little. Let's see what he does here. So he'll bring the infield in. One out. Tigers trailing 5-3 in the bottom of the sixth. Think that perhaps Jay's looking at a lefty lefty matchup of bringing in Lore to face Hines. Hines, of course, hit a rocket off of Luke Holman back in the fifth inning. 
And they're looking toward the bullpen now. Yep, they yep. made the call. They'll go with Justin Good Lower, who will come six. in. Pitching change powered by your hometown John Deere dealer in Sunshine. There's one out. There's a runner at second. Mississippi State leading five to three. Justin Lower takes over on the mound for LSU. Back after this on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Looking for a champion on the field? Look no further than Sunshine. Your hometown John Deere dealer in Louisiana. With our help, you can always come out on top. Take advantage of our home run offers on tractor packages, including the unbeatable 0% financing. To learn more and get financed, visit us at sunnycrypt.com. Choose sunshine and choose victory. It's time to score big with healthcare decisions this enrollment period. With a Medicare Advantage plan from People's Health, you get more benefits than original Medicare for no monthly premium. Benefits like $0 copays for primary care and virtual doctor visits. Part D prescription drug coverage, including $0 Tier 1 and Tier 2 generic drugs. A quarterly allowance for... At Albertsons.com slash Fresh Pass for program details. Albertsons. Fresh foods, local flavors. This is LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Justin Lohr takes over on the mound for LSU. Jay Johnson elected to go with the left-hander to face Hunter Hines, left-handed hitter for the Bulldogs, who, as Bill told you, off Holman. Got his second home run of the year, first offered up by Holman for the Tigers to right field in the fifth inning. So Lohr will... Get the opportunity here. Just one out, runner at second, and Mississippi State leading five to three. Justin Lohr, the transfer from Xavier. Left hander, who's a junior, stands 6'5, weighs 214 pounds. So far this season for the Tigers, he's 1 0 with a 4.91 ERA. He's making his seventh appearance of the season, seven and a third innings for Lohr. He's given up four earned runs on eight hits, three walks, and 12 strikeouts. Runner at second, lower the left-hander, works from the stretch. Hines awaits, and the pitch. Sails outside for ball one. Hines on the night, one for three. Caught looking by Holman in the first. Lined out on a rocket shot to Pearson and right in the third. And then, as we mentioned, in that fifth inning, Sia to right field. Stays away from the slider, missing away. They'll make it two balls, no strikes. Lower looks back to second. Now the 2-0 to the plate. That one a strike on the outside corner. And the slider came in initially to Hines and then broke off late. Caught enough of the black on the outer half. Two and one the count. Runner goes, the pitch. Outside and low, got away from Neal. Mershon stole second. Now he steals third. He's got his sixth stolen bag of the season. I don't know how they're going to rule that one, Bill. It was almost as if, I mean, it was a tough pitch to handle. It was yeah. low and outside, but it was almost as if maybe Brady was just took his eye off it to check the runner. And looked like he had a chance to get it. We'll see how they rule it. And field in now for LSU. Runner at third, one out. Time called as Hines stepped out momentarily. Five three Mississippi State leading and threatening here in the sixth. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Hines going for the scoreboard in right, but missed badly, and it's three and two. Laura came with the fastball that time at 90. And Hines couldn't find it. That was a huge cut, though. Runner at third, one out. The pitch, swing and a miss. Got him with a slider. Hines down on strikes for the second time tonight. Big time punch out for Justin Lohr, his first in relief, and records a huge second out of the inning. So now the center fielder, Connor Hyzak, a right hander to face the left handed throwing Lohr. Still some work left to do with a runner at third. Now two outs trying to keep it a 5-3 Bulldog lead. The pitch low skips off the dish 1-0. Oh. The 
Lower kicks, fires, and this Ooh. one slap fouled on the third base line. Catches the screen. That was a crack. Loris coming off an excellent outing earlier this week on Tuesday. He got the win in relief over North Dakota State with a very strong effort. The pitch rides in high to Isaac. Two balls, one strike. Back on Tuesday, he threw two and a third scoreless innings, gave up just one hit, no walks, three strikeouts. Mershon down the line at third. This one swung on off the cap of the bat, fouled out of play to the right. That'll even the count two and two. Lower again, the third pitcher of the night for LSU. Desperately trying to keep it a 5 3 Bulldog lead to end the sixth inning. The pitch again hammered foul down the line. Out of play off the bat of Isaac. Lord needs to keep this deficit where it is right now, considering how well Stevens, the Bulldogs reliever, has been pitching. Runner at third. Two outs. Isaac at the plate. Justin Lower, the left hander on the mound for the Tigers. And the pitch. Base hit left field. Mershon will score. And will make it 6 3, Mississippi State. Twelfth hit of the night for the Bulldogs. So now Aaron Downs will come to the plate. Downs in the sixth spot is two for three. Base hit and scored in the second. Base hit with a ribby in the third. Lower with a slow throw over to first to keep an eye on Isaac. Downs a right hander awaits. Lower fires missed outside. One ball and no strikes. Taking a look at Mississippi State's production offensively so far. Five for 12 for the Bulldogs with runners in scoring position. Wow. <laughs> and as we said, 667 leadoff hitters. They're four of six here tonight. This one skied a mile high to right. Pearson coming in, and Pearson will have it for out number three. But for the Bulldogs, they add to their lead. One run, one hit. One man left on. 6 3. Tigers trail. We head to the top of the seventh inning here in Starkville on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, your trusted experts for all your home service needs. With over 35 years of dedicated service, we prioritize your comfort and satisfaction. As an official partner of LSU Athletics, we bring our expertise to every game. From installations to repairs, our team delivers honest pricing with no surprises. Call us today at 225-777-8888 and experience the difference with Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Go Tigers! Finger Road Spray is a miracle in a can. Just spray the baseboard in the kitchen and bathroom, and in just a little while, your roaches are dead on the floor. It's incredible. Bingo Road Spray is odorless, clean, and easy to use. Bingo guarantees roach extermination overnight. Straddling the mighty Mississippi between Baton Rouge and New Orleans, Ascension Parish is Louisiana's sweet spot for a perfect weekend stopover, shop over stay. Shop at Tanger Outlet's 60 plus designer and brand name stores. Tour fabulous homeless house, mansion, and gardens. Visit Sugarfield Spirits Distillery, known for its unique spirits, wines, and ciders made from real local ingredients and flavors, or so many other interesting nearby attractions. Just a half hour east of Baton Rouge's Tiger Stadium and one hour west of New Orleans, Ascension Parish, your Baton Rouge to New Orleans stopover, shop over spot. For more info, check out Visit LA. LASweetspot.com. LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball lives here. The LSU Sports Radio Network. 6 3, Mississippi State leading LSU. We head to the top of the seventh inning here in Starkville. Josh Pearson, bottom of the order, will lead it off. Followed by Bingham and White, due up. 
right now trying to solve the riddle of Nolan Stevens the relief pitcher who has done nothing but put Tigers back in the dugout since taking over from the starter Evan Sierra who left the game trailing LSU first pitch missed outside to Pearson Pearson solo home run in the third stands in and a big swing fouls it straight back into the dirt Evens the count one ball and one strike I mentioned Mississippi State so far tonight putting the ball in play big time with runners on and runners in scoring position going five of twelve LSU 0 for seven with runners in scoring position so far tonight there's a strike at the letters surprising Pearson thought it was a little high in the zone it'll be one and two now to Josh a lot of big two out hits for the Bulldogs as well they're batting 500 with two outs tonight swing popped up into the air down the line in left and right at the fence the catch is made thought it would just get over the screen but did not and Logan Kohler gets under it as it comes right parallel to the net now Jay Johnson going to come out and say did it not touch the net at all now he may challenge this year's home plate umpire Derek Molika looks down to the third base umpire Joe Harris who ruled it and out I thought for sure Bill it was going to fall behind the screen just yeah. beyond the third base dugout it came right back down and our angle doesn't show whether or not it actually clipped the screen at all in, in real time it looked like it did brush against the net and that may have aided Kohler's chances in making the play now the umpires are discussing it right now behind the mound they have not yet fully gone let's see they're going to call for a review. Yep. So they will challenge the call, saying that the foul ball did touch the net. Again, we're kind of obscured. We're a little right of home plate. So looking down the line, we're looking actually on the inside of the screen out. So, Bill, I don't know if your vantage point five feet over any better than yeah. mine, but I could not tell. <laughs> not much. It, it definitely the, the fielder Kohler, of course, made contact with the net. It, it looked like the ball did as well before he caught it. But replay official in Birmingham now is going to look at it and communicate the, the decision to the umpires here in Starkville. Go under review presented by Acme Oyster House. And of course, will be a pivotal call here. Absolutely, as uh, Nolan Stevens has just been lights out in relief for Mississippi State. Entering this inning, he'd worked three innings. The only base runner he'd allowed was Michael Braswell in the sixth inning when Braswell reached on a two-out error by the Mississippi short shortstop Dylan Cup. Other than that, LSU has been able to, to manage literally nothing against Nolan Stevens making his SEC debut remember remember he's a true freshman out of California and he's been exceptional so far for Mississippi State. Well after review they say it did not touch the screen and it will stand as an out. So the ruling on the field is upheld. That will make it one out here in the top of the seventh inning tough break for Pearson tough break for the Tigers. So that will bring to the plate Mac Bingham back to the top of the order Bingham one for three. First pitch a strike letter high across the plate. Here's the 0-1 to Bingham. Fastball in her half. 92 mile an hour from the freshman Stevens, and he gets ahead of Bingham, nothing in two. This is Stevens' longest outing of the year now at three and a third innings. His prior long was two and two thirds. The 0-2. Elevated a fastball, missed high. One ball, two strikes. And this will be pitch number 50 for the freshman. One out infield playing straight up to the right handed hitter Bingham swings on a breaking ball comes up empty. Stevens records his sixth strikeout of the night two gone. Six strikeouts for the freshman Nolan Stevens. Breaking ball that just dropped in on the right handed hitter. 
His previous high this season was four strikeouts in that two and two-thirds innings outing against Jackson State. Tommy White at the plate. First pitch breaking ball for a strike at the belt. Stevens just pounding the strike zone. Got a great mix of pitches as well. Set up White with a breaking ball. The 0 1 fastball is fouled off. White falls behind quickly, nothing in two. Tommy provided a two run homer in the third to make it a 3 1 LSU lead. After falling behind to Mississippi State, 1 0 after two innings. Bulldogs would make it a 3 2 game after three, but since then it's been all dogs. Three runs in the bottom of the fifth, one in the bottom of the sixth. The 0 2 to White inside bounces away from the catcher, Johnny Long, and it's 1 and 2. Things heat up on the field. You can always cool it down by counting on Slow Melt Ice, colder, cleaner, and longer lasting since 1997. Check them out at slowmeltice.com. That's S L O M E L T I C E.com. Stevens, one two pitch to the plate. White fights it off. Foul ball right side out of play. Still one and two. Lane straight up again. The infield for the Bulldogs. The one two to White. Called strike three on the inside corner. Tommy White doesn't like it. Getting a clarification from the home plate umpire, Derek Malika. But that'll be the final out of the inning. Tigers, no runs, no hits, nobody on base. We head to the bottom of the seventh as we stretch it out here at Duty Noble. 6 3, Mississippi State leading LSU in the SEC opener on the LSU Sports Radio Network. The passion, the tradition, the rivalries. Sirius XM is your destination for all things college sports, and we've got you covered. On SEC Radio, there's complete coverage of every school in the conference, including live games, plus 24-7 talk and analysis. So cheer along on the Sirius XM app and listen to your favorite team anywhere. And now you can get three months of Sirius XM free. Subscribe now. See all for details at SiriusXM.com slash SEC Sports. The SEC is more than the Southeastern Conference. It's the Saturday Electrifying Conference, the Sunday Elite Conference, the Stadium Erupting Conference, the Stunning Eyeballs Conference, the Superbly Entertaining Conference, the Storied Enduring Conference, and more often than not, the See You Later Everyone Else Conference. This is the SEC, where it just means more. LSU Tiger fans are gearing up with real Tigers apparel and merchandise from the official online store at lsushop.net. Get jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, official team merchandise from Nike, accessories, and much more. Over 3,600 products all ship right to your door. Head to the place real Tiger fans go for the selection only real Tiger fans get at lsushop.net. Home of the reigning champion LSU Fighting Tigers. This is the LSU Sports Radio Network. Mississippi State leading 6-3 over LSU. We battle here in the latter innings, bottom of the seventh inning. Justin Lower continues on the mound. 1 0 delivery to Kohler, who leads it off for the Bulldogs. as a called strike, and it's 1 and 1. Goes without saying, the Tigers need to keep it right here at a three run deficit. But just six outs left to work with offensively as that pitch missed outside from Lower. Working quickly. This one high and outside. Move the count. Two balls, two strikes. Kohler awaits, and a swing and a miss. Chase one down and away. And He's down on strikes as he and Neal kind of collide as Neal was coming up to throw to third. And Kohler had already decided to head to the dugout. But both players understandably understood where both were, so nothing happens there. Lower just gets the punch out, which is the first out of the inning, his second strikeout. And now the bottom of the, close to the bottom of the order, eighth hitter Johnny Long stands in. Shows bunt. And he will send it third base side, picked up by Lower. Rocket throw to first, not in time. Beat out down the line by Johnny Long, the catcher. 
And about as good as you can play that one, Bill. Good yeah. job by Lower. Got over there, picked it up quickly, left of the mound, and unleashed a fastball to first, but just couldn't beat Long. And yeah, Lower did everything he could to try to get Long, but Long did a job of perfectly executing the bunt to the left side of the mound. The lefty Lore, after picking up, had to do a 360. And there's a challenge to the call at first base. So the Tigers, of course, is that a challenge from LSU? I believe that's what he said. That would be their final challenge. No. I heard the word challenge. Again, they do not have us provided a mic feed from the umpires. So we're having to guess by listening over the public address. Nobody has left the field as far as the umpires are concerned. And I guess they made a quick decision. Let's see. Oh. Yep, they confirm it quickly, so they didn't leave. Birmingham got back to him quickly, says so long is safe. But I believe that was challenged by LSU again, which we did not hear. It would be their second challenge, and they lost the first challenge on the foul ball by Pearson there in the top of the seventh. Nonetheless, Long remains at first. One out. We'll see Dylan Cup. And now they get a long caught in a rundown. Jones chasing him towards second and will miss on the tag. Throw back and lower field him. And no, they say Jones got him as he tried to skirt away between first and second. So long that time. Wow, a few words for Coach Jay Johnson. And now, as long was coming back. He was coming by first base. He came all the way inside the Mississippi State logo and was shouting at Jay Johnson. And Jay is now out there on the field talking to home plate umpire Derek Malika. And Jay now is being kind of helped aside by the second base umpire Scott Klein. But Jay is some kind of hot, and I can't say that I blame him. I no. was trying to figure out who Long was talking to, and it was very emphatic. And now the umpires are going to meet up here. I don't know if Long's going to be able to stay in this game. Yeah, he, he was way out of line. Obviously, he was not happy about Jay challenging the call at first base, but for him to react that way to the opposing head coach, to me, it, it, it definitely an ejection should be considered in this case, and that may be what they're discussing. Yeah, that's pretty immature realizing yeah. that challenges are part of the game, yeah. whether you like it or not. And you won the challenge and then coming back after getting caught in a rundown, which is also a bonehead play. <laughs> you decide to yell at the LSU dugout, but more specifically, it was not until he got to the end of the dugout, which is, of course, where both head coaches, all head coaches remain. It was pretty clear who he was talking to. Now we're. Well, we get a warning. Uh, I, guess he, I guess he's given a warning to oh. both dugouts. <laughs> oh. And Jay's not going to like that because. <laughs> Jay simply thought the umpires did a horrible job of not noticing what took place. And then when he told the home plate umpire, who looked a little surprised about what Jay was talking about. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, both dugouts get a warning. <laughs> Again, caught in the rundown. Long is retired, so the bases are empty here. That was the second out of the inning. Not what you want to see if you're Coach Lamonis. Pitch misses outside now to Cup, who's at the plate. 2 0 the count. And it's not something you see very often at all. No. 2 0 pitch from lower. Missed high. Ball three. Breaking ball for a strike at the letters. Looked like the take was on for Cup. Again, when you're running off the field, you typically run down the baseline somewhat. But he made a close trip to the dugout. This one swatted in the air off the bat of Cup to right field. Pearson coming over. Plenty of room. He'll have it for out number three. So, no runs, one hit. Nobody left on for the Bulldogs. They still lead six to three. We head to the top of the eighth inning. Tigers come to the plate. Three, four, and five do up. Milam, Jones, and Travinsky. Tigers need base runners, and they need runs. Back after this on the LSU Sports Radio Network. 
Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. Hi, Jan. My kids are really excited about spring break, so I'm looking for a new Toyota to help make it amazing. Now until April 1st is a great time for a new Toyota. Imagine you and the kids in the tundra on your way to the lake to go speed boating. Or even taking a raft or to an animal sanctuary to pick goats. <laughs> Sounds like your kids aren't the only ones excited about spring break. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Dealer inventory may vary. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Now batting in the cleanup position, Jenny King, the king of clean. Tiger fans, Jenny King is a proud partner of LSU Athletics and even more proud to provide you, the players, and every fan that comes to a game here with a healthy stadium that has been cleaned by our team of professionals. Let us clean and disinfect your business. Go to JennyKingCleans.com now. That's JennyKingCleans.com. Jenny King, the king of clean. Cheer on the Tigers with Oxbow Rum, the official rum of LSU Athletics. We make our award-winning rums right here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. At Oxbow Rum Distillery, every drop of Oxbow Estate Rum and False River Spice Rum is made from scratch. We start with our own sugar cane grown right up the river from Tiger Stadium. So grab a bottle of Oxbow, the official rum of LSU Athletics, and experience the bright, smooth taste of Louisiana sugar cane in every sip. Go Tigers! This is LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Now the temperature's rising here on the field between the Bulldogs and LSU. You wouldn't expect anything different from these old rivals. Meeting for the first time in conference play this season. Mississippi State leading 6-3. to three. LSU needing... Base runners and runs. Milam Jones and Travinsky will start it out. Owen Stevens has been impeccable on the mound for the Bulldogs as Milam takes a 1-0 pitch called strike to make it 1-1. One and one. Stevens is definitely the story of this game for Mississippi State. Now four shutout innings. He's not allowed to hit. He has seven strikeouts, no walks. The 1-1 one -one to Milam. Missed upstairs. Ball two, two and one. Again, the only base runner who's reached came via the error Braswell reached on an error by the shortstop cup that's the only base runner that has reached against Stevens Stevens fires and just missed inside good eye by the freshman Milo Nolan Stevens the 3 1 pitch outside ball four that's a good start there for the go. Tigers lead off man aboard in Milo. First time he has reached base today. That will bring Jared Jones to the plate. Again, a three run lead for the Bulldogs. The Tigers offense got going early. Played it three runs in the top of the third, take a 3 1 lead. But since then, as Bill mentioned, they pulled the starter, Sierra, and it's been the Nolan Stevens show. Here's Jared Jones, who's one for three tonight. See if the Bear can get one to work with. First pitch off speed, strike on the outer half, and it's 0 1. Mississippi State does have a right hander in its pen. I don't think it would hurt anyone's feelings if uh, Stevens left the game. They have the shift on for Jones, left side of the infield. Pitch is inside in the dirt. Johnny Long on a short hop, able to stay in front of it. Catch it for Mississippi State. Evens account one and one. Fans don't let AC or heater outages keep you on the bench this year. Text home run to 31996. Get your $59 AC system check. AccuTemp Services, proud partner of LSU Athletics. Runner at first, nobody out. Jones swings and foul down the third base line. Just left of the bag. Right-hander Cam Schulke is warming in the Mississippi State bullpen. If he has a sidearm delivery as we watch him warm in the bullpen. Milam at first. A one two count to Jones. The pitch. He went around. Tried to hold back. Great pitch again by Stevens with a one two count. Jones going to be retired. Down on strikes for the second straight time to Stevens. That will be Hayden Kravinsky, who also is one for three tonight. Had a double in the second, but. Much like Jones, not a lot of success after that. A couple of strikeouts, one in the third, one in the sixth. 
Stevens with eight punch outs so far tonight in relief. Runner at first, one down. 6 3, Mississippi State leads. Travinsky, a little tapper back to the mound, going to be handled by Stevens. Throws to second to Mershon. Relay to first in time for the twin killing. Tigers are done here in the top of the eighth inning. No runs, no hits, and nobody left on. Bulldogs celebrating. They come to the plate in the bottom of the eighth. It's a 6 3 Mississippi State lead on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Unrivaled content, unprecedented access. LSU Gold, powered by Bayou Traditions, is the only place for exclusive behind the scenes content featuring your favorite LSU teams. It's all access to the Tigers all year long. From pregame warmups to postgame celebrations and every moment in between. You can watch LSU Gold anywhere, anytime, and on your favorite device. Go to LSU.gold today to sign up for your free seven-day trial so you can be there for each step of LSU's championship journeys. That's LSU.gold. When are three letters more than three letters? When they represent 14 storied universities, generations of tradition and unbridled passion. Stadiums and arenas swell with diehard fans. More than 260 national titles, thousands of All-Americans, and hundreds of Olympians. And the one conference where every catch, shot, swing, and stride just means more. Fans, have you ever wanted to watch LSU baseball on TV but hear the action from the LSU Sports Radio Network? Just sync the game with the LSU Sports mobile app. It's easy to do. Just pause the TV. Use the LSU Sports mobile app to stream the audio on your smartphone or tablet. Connect to a smart speaker, then wait for the audio to catch up to the point your TV is paused. Push play, and you are all set. Sync the game with the LSU Sports mobile app for iOS and Google devices. Download it today. Tigers win. Tigers win. Live coverage of LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball continues on the LSU Sports Radio Network. First pitch offered up in the air to left center field. Luckily, LSU got a great jump from Bingham out in left. Able to bring it down, record the out. Ramani Larry, who leads it off here in the bottom of the eighth inning. LSU trailing six to three. Mershon coming to the plate for the fifth time tonight. So for three, did reach base on a walk, stole second, stole third, and was driven in to score a run to make it six three. There in the sixth inning, first pitch called strike 0 1. Here's one fouled off, and Mershon quickly behind in the count. To Justin Lower, who continues out there on the mound. Luke Coleman, roughest night on the bump for the LSU starter here in Starkville. Here's a swing and a miss, but it got by Brady Neal. All the way to the backstop, Mershon, too much speed. He will get to the bag without a throw. And another costly mistake for LSU. Mississippi State team Bills, you pointed out, winning 10 of their last 11, really turning it on and doing it offensively. The last thing they need is any gifts from LSU, and they got another there. Yeah, Mississippi State was not given a lot of respect coming into this season. Jordan out of the plate, the pitch missed outside to the right hander, and it's 1 0. Jordan, by the way, 2 for 4, a couple of base hits in the first, one in the third, a couple of ground outs since then. First shot again, as we told you, stole two bases last inning, so he's got a huge lead. Now Lower has to throw over and does. As we said at the outset of the broadcast, they only won nine SEC games last year. They were picked to finish last in the SEC West this year by the league coaches, so you know they feel like they're being disrespected a little bit, and they have a very talented club. Again, a good lead by Mershon. Throws over, and again, he's back safely to first base. Fans Dudley to Bozier stands up for the purple and gold. They fight for Tiger fans all across Louisiana. Dudley to Bozier, proud to be an official partner of LSU Athletics. 6 3 our score. First shot aboard, a strikeout, but a wild pitch allowed him to reach first base, and another throw over. Mershon easily back.
Jordan, one of the best hitters currently in college baseball, stands at the plate. Pitch to the plate, way outside. Make it 2-0. and Get offensively tonight, Mississippi State. 5 of 12 with runners in scoring position. Compare that to 0 for 7 for LSU. Two zero pitch, swing and a foul just off the bat of Jordan rolls to the third base dugout. That'll make it two and one. Dangerous pitch behind in the count, two zero to Jordan. Lore comes with the off-speed pitch, and Jordan just gets a piece of it. First shot again, about a six-step lead off of first. Jones holding him on. Lower the left-hander looking. Still looking. And time as Jordan again appears to have something in his eye. Called for time and stepped out at the plate. Oh, he's getting very close to the pitch clock running out. Jordan still trying to wipe something out of his eye. We saw it last time he was at the yeah. plate in the sixth inning. Well, Mershon, he takes the biggest lead I think I've ever seen. <laughs> he is way off the bag. I remember the speedster at Vandy. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Would do a similar move. You're right. Although he would face the second base bag like a track runner. This one misses low. That'll make it three and one. So now an even more dangerous spot for Justin Lower. Hitters count here for Jordan. Three one swing and a miss. Off speed. Mershon off and running without a throw. He'll get into second base. So that's three stolen bases in this game for Mershon. Give him seven on the year. Now he'll take another giant lead off second. Pitch, low and inside, ball four. Runners first and second now. Mississippi State in the bottom of the eighth leading by three. Looking for more is bring Hunter Hines. Hines was at the plate when they called upon Lower out of the bullpen for Gavin Gidry to get a lefty on lefty matchup. Hines was a strikeout victim to Lower in that sixth inning. Runner goes, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Foul tipped, I believe. Well, they'll say it came cleanly through, and Mershon had a huge jump. There's no throw. Brady Neal confirming that with home plate umpire. It was just a swing and a miss to make it 0-1. Mershon, just like in the sixth inning, still second, now steals third. Now we have time called. Neal will hop up, give some signs to the infield. So that is the eighth stolen base of the year for Mershon. And as Bill mentioned, <laughs> now it's four in this game. Runner at first and third. Pitch to the plate, Hines, a bouncer foul, first base side. Enrique Bradfield. It took me a while. That's right, I, I was. And the name escaped me, but yeah, he was something else. Mershon takes a similar lead at third. Neil will throw down to third. and. Really threw it at the backside of Mershon. And Tommy White luckily able to keep the ball in the vicinity of third base. One out, 6 3. Bulldogs lead, runners first and third. Pitch to the plate. High and deep to right field. Pearson goes back and will watch it go. Three run bomb. Hines second home run of the game, his third of the year. And that'll open it up. 9-3 Mississippi State. So with a 9-3 lead, still just one out, nobody on, Hyzak to the plate. 
Big swing and a base hit to left field. That's going to be the 15th hit of the game for Mississippi State. And again, this club had not performed at a real high level offensively, except with the exception, of course, of Dakota Jordan and David Mershon and Amani Larry, but their entire lineup has caused damage tonight as Jay Johnson's making his way to the mound. Everybody but Mershon has a hit in tonight's game in this lineup. Mershon, though, has reached base and done nothing but steal bags <laughs> and score runs. He's the only Bulldog without a hit tonight. Timeout, Jay Johnson out there visiting with Lower in the infield. Bottom of the eighth inning, and it is 9-3 Mississippi State. The meeting all wrapped up. Coach Johnson on his way back to the dugout. So after the three run homer by Hunter Hines, Isaac wasted a little time, took the first pitch, base hit to left field. Tigers still trying to find two outs. No one warming in the Tigers' pen. Coach Johnson hoping that Laura can just get these final two outs and LSU can preserve as much pitching for the next two days. Runner at first, that brings Aaron Downs. Downs two for four. Laura going to throw over. Slow throw to first to keep an eye on Isaac, who also has four stolen bags. He and Mershon came into this game both with four stolen bases. He's got some work to do. Here's a swing and a miss as Downs chases one up and out. Mersha with four stolen bases tonight. Not sure that happens every time out for the Bulldogs. This one slapped but foul down the line in left. And to say the Bulldogs have seen the baseball well tonight is a Massive understatement. Yeah, really. They set the tone that very first inning. Larry leads off with a single to Jordan singled against Luke Holman, and they really haven't stopped hitting since. Pitch to Downs. High for ball one. One, two. Holman had that one clean inning, that three up, three down inning in the fourth, but otherwise, there's been a lot of traffic on the bases for the Bulldogs. Lower checks the runner at first. Now the pitch. Miss low to even the count down to downs, two and two. Lower with two innings pitch, four hits, three runs, all three earned, one walk, three strikeouts. The big three run bomb to Hines here in the eighth. Open the game up 9 3. Here's a tapper foul on the third baseline. Keeps the count two and two. If you're Mississippi State, you couldn't have asked for a better outcome up to this point. They started Sierra, who had not who only thrown six innings all year. And now if they hold on for the win, now they have their two regular guys in the rotation left to start on Saturday and Sunday. Pitch to the plate. In the air to center field. Kling going back. Kling gets there, settles under it, records the second out, but Advancing, tagging up, the throw to second, not in time. Isaac, heads up play, was deep enough to carry Kling, shy of the warning track, but fairly deep in center. Kling, once again, kind of a routine throw back to the infield, and Isaac was off and running. Gets the second base. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite the Tigers, already down nine to three, so a runner in scoring position. That brings Kohler. He's reached base twice tonight, had a single in the fifth and scored a run. He's also struck out twice. Once to lower. Here's a turn and throw back to second. Isaac easily back. Mississippi State 15 hits. 15 of 38 at the plate for a 395 average in this game. Here's a swing and a miss. Perfectly placed by lowers. Brady Neal slid to the left, got him with the slider. Nothing and one the count. 
Tigers by the way 5 of 29 at the plate for 172. This one hammered to right field. That'll score another run. Isaac around third wide turn taken by Kohler but he'll retreat back to first and again the fly ball to center and a lazy return throw back to the infield allowed Isaac to get in scoring position followed by a base hit to right and it's now 10 3 Mississippi State and Mississippi State has displayed a lot of energy a lot of aggressiveness both offensively and defensively and it's really paid off for them tonight. Timeout now as Brady Neal's out to the mound to speak to Justin Lohr. He's still trying to end this inning. No one in the bullpen for the Tigers. So this is Lohr's inning to finish. Mississippi State fans haven't had a whole lot to cheer about over these past couple of seasons since they won the national championship in 2021, but ballpark is energized tonight. 10 3 they lead still two outs bottom of the eighth. Johnny Long the catcher two of four in the eight spot tonight. Lower misses with a fastball outside and it's one and oh. Long grounded out. And swinging bunt back in the second. Got a board on a fielder's choice in the third and then back to back singles fifth and seventh and here's one. To left center field, Kling on the run, and Kling able to use the speed to get to it for out number three. That one looked dangerous off the bat. But the biggest inning of the night for Mississippi State, they played four runs on three hits. They leave one man on. They lead 10 3. Last chance for the Tigers here in game one. We head to the top of the ninth on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Unrivaled content, unprecedented access. LSU Gold, powered by Bayou Traditions, is the only place for exclusive behind-the-scenes content featuring your favorite LSU teams. It's all access to the Tigers, all year long, from pregame warm-ups to post-game celebrations and every moment in between. You can watch LSU Gold anywhere, anytime, and on your favorite device. Go to lsu.gold today to sign up for your free seven-day trial so you can be there for each step of LSU's championship journeys. That's lsu.gold. If you live in Louisiana, you know what the many plants up and down the river mean for our state's economy. And for over 40 years, Action Industries has been committed to providing quality construction, maintenance, operational, and consulting services through the refinery and petrochemical industries. When it comes to safety and quality, Action Industries beats the industry standard. Call today or visit actioninc.com. That's actioninc.com. Visiting team, will it be heads or tails? Play heads or tails from the lottery. Win up to $3,000. Unlock your winnings playing Unlock It. Win up to $30,000. Play the new casino games, Poker Face, High Stakes, All In, and King's Ransom. Win up to $14,000. Seven! Roll the dice with High Roller. Top prize is $100,000. Play all the new games from the lottery. Must be at least 21. Fighting Tiger Baseball, presented by LaBerge, Patton Rouge, Casino and Hotel, on the LSU Sports Radio Network. LSU with three outs to work with, down big, 10-3, top of the ninth inning. Brady Neal to lead it off. Owen Stevens remains on the mound. He has been spectacular. First pitch, ground ball to second. Handled by Nate Chester, who entered the game defensively as they move Mershon to shortstop to replace Dylan Cup on the diamond. Nate Chester enters the game. First pitch and a ground ball right his way, but he handles it with a 4 3 ground out and one away. Michael Braswell will stand in. Braswell tonight, 0 for 2, didn't get her board on a walk back in the fourth inning. Nolan Stevens fires a first pitch called strike and it's 0 and 1. Stevens five and a third of hitless baseball. One walk to eight strikeouts. That one just missed inside. One ball, one strike. Lefty on righty matchup and Braswell swings, fouls this one out of play right side. 
Ken Stevens, the freshman. Big stage. First opportunity against an SEC team, the defending national champs, no less. He's passed with flying colors thus far. Braswell again tries to lay back, swings, but fouls it out of play right side. Still one ball, two strikes. Mississippi State tonight taking advantage of the opportunity. Seven of 14 with runners in scoring position. Tigers 0 for 7 in the same spot. This pitch missed high. Two and two now to Braswell. Also, as Bill mentioned earlier, been very good with two outs. Seven of 15 at the plate, batting 467 with just one out to work with in the inning. 2 2 to Braswell. Swung on towards the gap, left center field. Braswell with his first hit of the night. He'll make the wide turn at first. Now will commit and dive into second base. He'll get there standing up. Had a little bit of a stutter step after making the wide turn, but again got it deep through the grass in left center. Isaac had to pick it up. In a tough angle, knew he could probably beat the throw in from left center field. Braswell does. It's another extra base hit for the Tigers. So with one out, a runner at second. And we'll see Paxton Kling. Kling 0 for 3. Trying to find his groove offensively. A couple of flyouts was a strikeout victim in the sixth. Stevens looks back to Braswell. And with one out, we'll come to the plate. This one low and inside with a breaking ball, and it's 1 and 0. Coming up, the Women's Hospital Fighting Tiger 10th inning show will run down the final stat line. Get a play of a game. Of course, check scores around the SEC on this opening night of conference play. There's a strike on the inner half to cling to even the count one and one. Fans don't let AC or heater outages keep you on the bench this year. Text home run to 31996. Get your $59 AC system check. AccuTemp Services, proud partner of LSU Athletics. Stevens requesting a new baseball. Our home plate umpire will oblige. By the way, in Nashville, Second top four seed to get bounced, Texas A&M. 97-87 winners over the Kentucky Wildcats, the number two seed. Pitch misses upstairs. Good eye by Kling to stay away from the top shelf fastball, and it's two and one. Tennessee, of course, beaten earlier today by Mississippi State. Two and one the count with a runner at second, one down, top of the ninth. Pitch outside and high. That's a three and one now, the count of clean. Brady Neal started off the inning, grounded out to second base. Braswell doubled to left center. He stands down at second. Paxton Kling now with a hitter's count, three and one. The pitch. Check swing, fouls it back into the screen. That'll fill it up. Fans, don't forget you can help shape the future of medicine. Join a clinical trial at Velocity Clinical Research. Participants can receive compensation, access potential medicines and development, and get study related exams at no cost. Find a study near you at velocitytrials.com. Top of the ninth inning on the road in Starkville, down 10 3. LSU. With a runner at second, one out. Braswell off and running on the pitch. Missed outside, ball four. Now runners on the corners here. LSU trying to not go quietly into the night. Timeout call. Johnny Long will go down. Visit with his pitcher, Nolan Stevens, who gives up just his second walk in relief. Gives us a moment to pause, 10 seconds. Station identification on this, the LSU Sports Radio Network. This is LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball on the LSU Sports Radio Network and the LSU Sports Mobile app. Along with our producer, Brian Haldane in the Capital One studio, Bill Frank has Chris Blair with you here at the Dude. Duty Noble Field, officially named Polk DeMint Stadium in Starkville, renovated in 2017. Mississippi State leading 10-3 here in the top of the ninth. Josh nice Pearson at the plate, swing and a miss on the first offering, and it's 0-1. Pearson in the nine spot, one for three, his first at bat. Solo home run to right. Fourth 
round tripper of the year. He's got two men on here. Runner goes, no throws. The pitch is outside. They appeal to third. He did not go around. Evens account to Pearson. One and one. It's Kling makes his way to second. So two runners in scoring position for Pearson. Pitch to the plate, way outside. Johnny Long able to slide over, keep a glove in front of it. Now time going to be called. Looks like Justin Parker, the pitching coach, again going to come out. Visit with Nolan Stevens, who has been phenomenal tonight. Five and a third, gave up his first hit here in the top of the ninth. Looks like they may go ahead and make a change here after he has had a job well done. The freshman in a big spot delivers after the starter again to kind of improvise with Evan Sierra, not the normal. Friday night or game one starter in the non conference. Got a little touched up early in the game. They're going to stick with Stevens. He'll stay on the mound. But the starter, Sierra, left with LSU leading the game, and since then it's been lights out from Nolan Stevens. Again, that first hit, the double for Braswell coming here in the top of the ninth. Pearson trying to maybe get the first run or two or three. Stands in. Pitch. Ground ball. We handle bat second base by Chester. Throw the first. We'll get the second out as Braswell comes in to score. That'll make it 10 4 Mississippi State. Cling over to third, but the Tigers down to their final out. It's Mac Bingham. Come to the plate with two gone in the top of the ninth inning. Tomorrow, these two teams get back at it. Game two at four o'clock. Now we got another timeout. This may be all it will for Nolan Stevens. He's going to get a huge hand from the Bulldog faithful here. They will make a change. And Stevens, who threw 82 pitches tonight, had eight strikeouts, two walks, gave up one hit and one run. Pitching change powered by Sunshine, your hometown John Deere dealer. Two outs, top of the ninth, 10 4 Mississippi State leads. I'll tell you about the new Bulldog pitcher after this on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Looking for a champion on the field? Look no further than Sunshine, your hometown John Deere dealer in Louisiana. With our help, you can always come out on top. Take advantage of our home run offers on tractor packages, including the unbeatable 0% financing. To learn more and get financed, visit us at sunnyquip.com. Choose sunshine and choose victory. Support your LSU Tigers with Hancock Whitney, the official bank of LSU athletics. From game day to the offseason, Hancock Whitney LSU credit and debit cards are a big win for any Tiger fan. Want to get your paws on these cards? Well, apply online or visit HancockWhitney.com slash LSU. Hancock Whitney Bank, member FDIC. All accounts subject to credit approval. Terms and conditions may apply. What does it mean to be the best? How do you achieve success? For our Lady of the Lake Health and LSU, we do it by working as a team. We achieve greatness together. Our partnership means student athletes get the best care so they can perform their best and be there for the team. Our Lady of the Lake Health and LSU. Together, we roar. Live coverage of LSU Fighting Tiger Baseball continues on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Whoa! Top of the ninth inning, Mississippi State looking to take game one. They lead 10 4. Tigers one out to work with here. Played one run across in the top of the ninth. Braswell aboard on a double. And then Braswell coming in to score on the ground out by Pearson to second base. Now with two outs, new pitcher Cam Schulke will take over. Schulke, a submariner, a right-hander. 
junior out of Michigan. LSU will send up a pinch hitter, looks like. Looks like Ashton Larson will pick up a bat. Come to the plate here with two outs. Larson, the freshman out of Overland Park, Kansas. Submariner fires, misses outside. Look at 1 and 0 oh to Larson, batting for the 13th time in his career. He's got five hits, one run scored, driven in three runs. That one a strike on the outside corner from Schulke, and it's 1 and 1. Kling, by the way, at third base. Nobody holding him on. He'll take a short lead. Larson awaits, swings, fouls it off. Falls behind in the count one and two, and that will get Bulldog fans to their feet here at Duty Noble. One ball, two strikes, two outs, top of the ninth. Bulldogs lead 10 4 with a runner at third. The pitch. Fastball just missed on the inside corner. Larson with a very confident eye stays away. 92 mile an hour fastball from Shoki. That'll even the count two and two. The 2 2 pitch. Just missed the outside corner, and the groans get louder. Three balls, two strikes. Two outs, top of the ninth. The runner at third. Shoki fires, missed inside ball four. Shoki a little upset, thought he was squeezed. So does his fan base here. Puts runners first and third with two outs. It does bring Tommy White to the plate. Tommy Homer, two run blast in the third. Ground out and was caught looking in the seventh since then. He's one for four. Swing and a miss. Late coming around on a breaking ball, and it's 0 1. Top of the ninth brought to you by LaBerge, Baton Rouge, Casino, and Hotel. Runners first and third. The pitch to White. Off speed. That's a strike on the inside corner. The Tigers down to their final out. And an 0 2 count to Tommy White. The pitch swung on, fouled off by White. Stay alive. Still nothing in two. Again, coverage begins tomorrow at 3:30. The Hub International on deck show. First pitch just after four o'clock in Game Two between the Tigers and Bulldogs. Two outs. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Missed high at the letters. <laughs> And the strike zone, according to the Bulldog fans, have gotten really tight since Shulky took over. One ball, two strikes to White with runners first and third. The pitch swung on in the air to right field. Jordan going back, and Jordan reaches up shy of the track. He'll have it for out number three, and Mississippi State takes game one of this three-game series with a 10-4 victory over LSU with the loss the Tigers. Now 16 and three, they start conference play 0 and 1 for Mississippi State. They now have won 11 of their last 12. They move their record to 14 and five. They are 1 and 0 in the early SEC race. Final tonight from Starkville, Mississippi State 10, LSU 4 on the LSU Sports Radio Network. <laughs>